Hello and uh, welcome! We're going today towards the qualifiers of the CWC Season 7 and of course we do have the CFCIS qualifiers on the screen here. On one side and not here now. On the other side THD, they're gonna need to fight against each other to see who's gonna be the victor, who's gonna get then one step closer to the CWC Season 7. We do have of course the players are um, uh, actually getting into their uh, proper teams over here, their proper um, slots. It's going to take a little time until we get everything we need uh, to see. And of course, uh, I do want to take a look over here if we do have anything uh, more to show. And of course, uh, talking about the points, talking about the, uh, that uh, challenge one, talking about uh, what's going on, what's going on. Sergio Max, привет, sir. Good evening and uh, good day to you, sir. We got uh, Ryochen, bonsoir, bonsoir, bienvenue. We do have uh, also... Um, uh, up in the chat, let me actually take a look over here. Old Triangle, good evening, sir. Natro0225, hello there, sir, and welcome. Skinny Mike picked up the first promotion and talked first in the channel. Thank you so much, sir. Welcome, welcome. Big shout out. Uh, in the um, uh, bottom, let me actually see. Also, Begs, good evening, sir. Uh, good day to you, sir. I think it's Bomb Dia, if I'm not mistaken. And that's how you say uh, hello. So it is what it is. Uh, did the map uh, been picked? Uh, I do not think so. As far as I see, uh, they're still uh, swapping around and trying to fix their um, connections between each other. And uh, we're going to need to see what's going on. I do have to say, I'm a bit... Um, I would say I'm still waking up. I, I do have my coffee with me. I'm uh, trying to get uh, as, as soon as possible, you know, my energy back here. I did uh, have a little problem sleeping last night. And uh, from what I can see, I'm trying uh, also to find out where the um, links are. Let me actually take a look over here. And I do remember there were uh, some links with the challenge one. And of course, I do want to put it up on the screen so we get to see it. Okay, Civ 6 CIS qualifications for the CWC. We do have uh, quite a few games um, starting off. Uh, let me actually put it up really quickly on the screen so you guys can see what I see. Uh, there we go. Uh, actually, it's a bit... Uh, wow. Okay. Let me actually put it like this. Let me do it like this. Is it... Wait, bro. Is it better? Yeah, it's better, right? You can actually see what's going on. There we go. So, uh, Forever Young uh, does lead the way with uh, only one loss and six wins. Uh, we do have a THD with a full 5-0. A very, very uh, good uh, track record. And then Nath Hyena comes up with a 5 and a 1. One single loss for uh, Nath Hyena. We've seen also Notice Me uh, Senpai uh, last week uh, with a 4 and 3. Uh, Sivgen coming up on the 5th slot with uh, 3 and 4. Pozel was a Pivas with 2 and 4. Uh, guys, are you scared? Is uh, going to be lagging behind with 1, 6, 0. And then uh, NNM, no name I believe they're called, 0, 7. Full losses for them. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, coming back in the game here, we're uh, going to need to see them, of course... Um, um, get their links going. I'm not sure what's uh, going on here. We got uh, quite a few of them. Or is that me? Is that me actually? Uh, that disconnected. Let me actually get back uh, really quickly. Uh, give me a second so I can uh, click the link. Uh, click the link. Click the link. Where's the link? Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. But let's see if we get the link back. Okay. There we go. Oh, I think uh, Relobby. Because. Uh, let me actually put up a lobby here really quickly for me. I don't know, maybe maybe they couldn't get the settings right or uh, maybe they um, needed to do a quick re-lobby. I'm not sure which one of the two, but I'm still going to try to join on that link I had earlier. I think I should actually take a look here. Yeah, error joining multiplayer session. Uh, so I think uh, we're going to have a new, uh, a new lobby soon put up. I just uh, need to open up uh, his um, profile so I can actually see what's going on here. Uh, there we go. And let me put it up on the left screen. So we, yeah, he's, he's not in the game. So I think uh, we're going to have a early lobby here. Um, they probably do have uh, to pick off all of those wonders to ban them. Not to mention uh, they will need to get all of the settings correctly done for the CWC. And we're going to need to see how this will uh, develop here. Um, oh, we got uh, the basic, you know, uh, sharing memes while waiting uh, type of uh, stuff going on in the channels here. Let me actually put it up on the screen so you guys can see. We're, we're sharing memes, we're sharing memes. Hey, Beaver Simpson, hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, 
Hello, Rafifi. Hello there, sir. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, Monsieur? Comment ça va? Okay, so let's uh, let's see, let's see. Hmm, confused. Maybe we should uh, look at confused. Let's see what kind of meme we can find out over here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Can we can we find one that should be uh, actually more interesting here? No. 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 Oh, we got a new lobby. Okay. Well, before I actually found the meme, I am retrieving host information. Dot dot dot. So we're getting this going. Hey, good morning. Yeah. Uh, nanny is better. <laughs> nanny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I, I could actually show you um, quite a few things, but I do want to see what's going on here. Uh, connecting to players. I wanted, uh, it would have been awesome if I could show you what we have done, what me and my friends have done in uh, Satisfactory. Oh my God, so many things. music maybe a little too uh, strong wait where, where's the where's the music in the background i mean oh yeah it is too strong yeah for sure sorry there we go is that better it should be better right it's uh, really low actually let me put it on uh, it should be three there we go So who do I swap? I think uh, one of the Forex or uh, Ginger inside. And we're just waiting for uh, everybody to check in. And of course, uh, we're, I'm gonna need to rejoin because I do see a two zero MSs. Uh, okay, now they do have the correct one there. So old age new, rich classical definition. Uh, Pangea is a map, but I don't think that's gonna hold. We're probably gonna see a map uh, being chosen soon, as soon as we get uh, everybody in. Oh, we got Kabachok in the house. We got Trinda. Oh my God, okay. One of the things that um, is escaping me is actually who's on uh, each team i do know uh, they have a really good track record i don't know exactly who's uh, on each team and that's one of the things that i do have to uh, take a look over here now uh, thd does have forex best domi trinda wasserschlange middle student opera 104 and kambachok on their side no, no surprise there they had a really good track record let's actually take a look at nat hyena with uh, lena alex uh, oziman Dias, Ozymandias, okay, Corogen, uh, Dimento, Monte, and uh, two players that I honestly cannot pronounce their names properly. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, who, hello, who do I swap, please? Okay, got it. Let me actually find out who's uh, the one, who is the one that I'm gonna swap here. Okay, there we go. I swap with uh, Forex, it's fine. So let's turn this uh, off and we're gonna need to see what uh, are they gonna choose here. Uh, coming up with 5-0 uh, uh, wins in the 5-1s, uh, you can imagine both teams uh, do want to get into that um, uh, tournament. I do believe they have a high chance of uh, both qualifying, but they need to keep their uh, record straight and uh, be as... Um, uh, uh, successful as possible in this uh, area of course uh, i do imagine uh, we're gonna see them uh, in the cwc and we're gonna need to uh, check them out then uh, looking at uh, the slots i do believe we have three slots available for uh, cfcs and uh, with the eight teams of course uh, they're gonna need to find out who's gonna be one two and three now uh, we do also we will also have um, uh, some form of a tournament uh, going against the wildcard tournament because uh, we do need to see what they're gonna do over there now uh, looking at uh, this looks like uh, all of the players are getting into their college slots they're um, getting also their uh, team labels over here one and a two and uh, looking at uh, this we got bogini forex with uh, trinda and kabacho coming up uh, today for uh, thd i believe it's uh, called and then uh, what's this name can somebody tell me what's this name 66t okay i'm, I'm 
I'm gonna call him 6060, you know. Dario, hello there, good evening, good day to you, sir. Uh, 660 with Alex with uh, Demento and... Uh, how do I call him? How, how do I read this? Mikael, okay, Mikael, okay, that's Mikael. Th wait, that's actually how you spell Mikael, okay. And this is Gav, Gav Goshmig, Gav, Gav Koshmig, okay, Gav, can I hold him Gav? I hope I'm gonna actually remember Gav, but anyway, mm, maybe I need to write this down. Maybe I need, you know, it's better. Oh, let me see, I got some papers over here. I've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of French, my, this is my French thing over here, my French, whatever it's called. I'm almost finishing a, a full, well, actually, this is my third one, but sure. Um, a full uh, student. How do, you, how do you even call it this in English? I don't even know how to call this in English. In Romanian, it's a uh, cahier student says. I know in French it's cahier, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, you can read it as uh, Mihajil. Mihajil, okay. Well, I still feel like I should call him Miss 6060, but anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, you saw it, Gav, right? Gavnosh. Gavnosh. Nosh. Gavnosh. Got it. They pick. Hello there, sir. Oh, so, so they're trying to figure out uh, their settings. I do believe I just uh, reloaded anyway, reconnected. So I have uh, everybody with uh, a good ping. Okay, it's fine. Now, uh, why are you saying no? To what are you saying no? I don't know what you're saying no over there, by the way. Uh, and CCT is gonna be Mikhail. Uh, you'll use the civilization names instead. I'm gonna try. Yeah, but in the meantime, I do have to at least uh, remember what the name is. Uh, it's a matter of uh, respect over here. I know. I know. Uh, I definitely have a um, quote-unquote uh, lack of uh, knowledge in the um, Kyrillic language. I don't know how to read them. But I'm gonna do my best uh, to figure out what's going on over here. And of course, we do need to see how the boys will uh, handle the maps here, how they will handle the civilizations. I do have to point out, Trinda has been showing up uh, for uh, uh, quite some time now, for a few months, uh, more and more uh, on the uh, uh, top teams and uh, in the top games. Now, uh, we do definitely need to see some more of him. He came up uh, from the Duhans um, uh, team, and of course, uh, after they split up, uh, he did uh, find actually a team in... Um, the Sifsis environment uh, with uh, Kabachok and uh, with uh, other players, Bezdomi, as you've seen, Forex, and at the same time, I do um, have to point out also Trin um, Propagandi did um, a switch to Forever Young, a very, very strong team as well. Uh, I believe they also did manage to uh, snatch a victory yesterday from uh, Sas Panana in um, the CPL uh, Premier League, if I'm not mistaken, and that was quite, um, quite an achievement over there. Uh, just type them into Google Translate to English and click pronounce if you want to hear. Okay, let me see. What are you telling me to do here? Detect language, okay. Gav Koshem. Gav Koshem, okay. Gav Koshem. Oh, I see. I see how it is. And this one is. Oh, it's just straight up Michael. Michael. <laughs> okay. Ah, I hear my name, man. I hear my name. Michael. Oh. <laughs> It is what it is. Anyway, we got a team plus coming up from uh, Forex. Uh, we're waiting for uh, the last settings to be done, and I do believe uh, the next team, Not Haina, is also gonna put a team plus right here. We got Bogini from uh, one side picking up uh, for uh, THT. On uh, the other side, Mik Michael is gonna pick up for uh, uh, Not Haina, and as you can see, they are going for the map pool choices. Um, big dog, hello there, Vasa Schlange. Hello, hello, also. Good and good and talk, sir. Good and talk. Uh, early stream today, yes, yes, early stream actually. Uh, quite early, it sounds better than the French Michael uh, or Michel. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's more uh, because it's an old name, but they're uh, coming back. Okay, uh, 
I don't like um, uh, how to say. Um, I usually don't like uh, to hear Michel or uh, be, uh, that particular thing because in Romanian there's a, a thing called Michelește. Um, Michelește is going. Uh, it's actually quite a how to say. Um, not an honorable thing to do uh, when you are fighting uh, so it, it's like fighting dirty that's that's what it means uh, michelește so i i that's one one of the reasons i don't like uh, michel uh, it sounds better than okay good morning good morning you trying to go brit hello there sir welcome welcome if you guys want to see michelește uh Well, okay, so we do have uh, the map being chosen. It's going to be Highlands. We're going to have um, a relatively long game over here. We're going to need to see what kind of civs they're going to pick. Yesterday, you've seen uh, how important it was, uh, for example, to have uh, civilizations with a lot of uh, production potential. And uh, you do see them uh, actually uh, being banned over here immediately. Uh, we got uh, Gaul and Canada taken out as uh, options. Yesterday we've uh, also had uh, Russia in the game, uh, we've seen uh, how powerful Victoria can be in a late game, we've also seen an amazing uh, powerhouse coming up from other civilizations, oh my god, oh my god, uh, okay, it's uh, always a problem when someone sounds bad in another language, uh, Sega in a telephone, it's a problem, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for example, and this, it's a really big company, right, and it's still a problem, yeah. Uh, looks like uh, Russia has uh, been taken out uh, tonight, uh, today. Uh, we got Basil the second also picking up a ban uh, and uh, two more choices to go for. Uh, talking about uh, civilizations from uh, yesterday, uh, we've seen how important it is to actually get uh, all of your um, uh, stats going at the, at the right moment in time and also a settle out of cities. Uh, we did have uh, the goals actually not uh, shining that much as we've seen in other games, uh, but it did manage uh, the later stages of the game to defend quite properly against um, uh, his opponent over there. Who was, who was his opponent? Oh my god, I totally... Can you imagine? I actually forgot from uh, my hand to my mouth uh, what, uh, what civilizations have been picked yesterday. Never mind, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it really quickly. Um, we did have Eleanor actually being amazing, by the way, uh, with uh, the defense. Unfortunately, he got um, uh, nuked. We did have... Uh, uh, China! Okay, there we go. China. I was like, no, there must be somebody with uh, stats over there. There must be somebody with, uh, you know, big um, uh, bonuses. But no, it was China and that did manage to nuke everybody at the end stages of the game with uh, quite a lot of production. He was uh, around 1100, uh, 1100? Yeah, 1100 uh, production at the end of the game. Incredible, incredible. Uh, looks like Ethiopia got also taken down um, as a civilization and uh, Mapuche, while uh, Bogini is going to go instantly for Coupe. It's been a long time since we've seen actually Coupe being picked up um, early in uh, any kind of game, especially on the Highlands map. It is uh, one of the most powerful civilizations because its early game will allow him to get a lot of production going from his um, tiles around him. And you don't spawn in the water. It's very, very um, high chance to actually spawn on the land around uh, a lot of forest rainforest and uh, you're gonna get um, really quickly to settle and of course uh, benefit from everything else we got Michael here going for the pawn maker. Uh, we've seen also yesterday how important it was to, for him to get uh, that early tempo going. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite um, turn that into a later on advantage. He did manage to uh, do an attack uh, against his opponents there. I didn't uh, manage to uh, breach the defenses. Uh, will Melanic make it? No, no. It, it looks like it's, yeah, it's not going to make it. It's uh, too big of a chance over there. And, of course, uh, Coupe over here is also one of the most powerful ones. I was expecting Coupe to be banned maybe instead of Canada or even uh, Russia. I don't think, uh, and as you've seen yesterday, I don't, it doesn't look like Russia or Canada are that big powerhouses on this map, especially when you have other civilizations like um, Eleanor who can manage to um, 
get time after time after time a lot of uh, bonuses going also china has been showing up as a very stable civilization and uh, you've seen it yesterday how powerful it can be even um, compared to the goals or uh, kree and of course uh, we will need to see what alex is gonna pick here he does have 13 more seconds to go for this and uh, we definitely need to wait for him to click on one button to choose it uh, christina is also yeah christina i do like also christina pick but um the players uh, sometimes fear it is a bit too uh, dependent on its wonders and uh, i do see also alex going for spain looks like forex uh, for rome uh, the, it, it looks like uh, the picks are coming up a little bit faster on um, uh, thd and i fear uh, i feel i feel not fear i feel like uh, they are a bit more prepared when it comes to uh, what they're gonna pick and uh, what their opponents will pick uh, they are trying to uh, force a certain kind of uh, game and of course that's one of the things that usually the pick and ban phase uh, needs to have as a result you do need to uh, try as much as possible to uh, get exactly what you need to get from your uh, opponent uh, Bogini is a Polish player that's a good question I don't know uh, Domis hello there sir and welcome uh can, can can we find out uh, actually maybe zenja max can tell us if uh, bogini is a polish player i think i can actually look him up in the channels and see uh, his uh, steam profile maybe i can get it from there if they are actually anywhere because i don't see them in the in the channels mm. yeah i don't see them in the channels maybe the channels are uh closed uh because it's polish one mix goddess oh i see i see how it is so it's a goddess over here okay we got um all, uh, thank you very much by the way the small soldiers good morning good morning sir uh we do have uh genghis khan uh, picked up as a ban here and mali is gonna take the uh, next one eighth uh, ban i'm actually quite surprised we do have a different uh, type of approaching the game uh, I, uh, that's one of the things i really like by the way um moving from um, community to community you have them developing um, affinities towards other civilizations than you have uh, in uh, the big ones in cpl or in um, cvfr uh, even uh, CPL and CVFR you would think uh, they are big enough uh, they do uh, play a lot with each other and um, that actually makes them uh, pick uh, most of the time the same civilizations it's not that's the same you know they are but they're not that you know that uh, not that close to each other hey Domis thank you very much for the tier 1 gift sub small soldiers welcome sir hello there welcome welcome um I don't keep an eye on uh, Sivra's qualifiers, uh, so I don't know who he is. Oh, okay, I see. I see how it is. Uh, okay, so we do have uh, Vietnam and uh, Australia taken down. Interesting uh, choices. Of course, uh, Teddy Bulmos, for example, is still available. Uh, we still uh, we would have uh, other strong civilizations also to uh, choose from. Eleanor, Victoria, uh, we got uh, Dino, we got Portugal, we got we got quite a few, an array of civilizations that uh, could be chosen here and Demento is going to have the next uh, draft um, I do want to come back to uh, what you said about Sweden uh, Sweden, uh, it feels like it's a bit too dependent on its wonder acquirement and of course uh, the land uh, most of the time it does get at least like four or five, uh, at least three or four I should say, um, biomes the plains the grass and, and uh, sometimes uh, it's gonna get the desert uh, while of course uh, it tends to um, go next to the tundra which uh, will give it uh, the fourth and the fifth maybe snow uh, we do have cyrus coming up for uh, demento and uh, to finish my idea with uh, sweden uh, the best that you can do with sweden uh, to acquire all of those uh, points for your um, um, diplomatic favor uh, you do need to uh, go for oracle you do need to uh, uh, do quite a few projects and sometimes uh, that actually hurts a little bit your early game if somebody manages to take away oracle from you uh, you end up with uh, quite a bit of a problem uh, yes you might get lucky with the land available you might get lucky with very good campuses for example or um, places to place your um, uh, wonders the adjacency of the rivers how the land looks like and so on um but at the same time uh, the players do feel like uh, it's a bit uh, dangerous to go for it especially for those uh, particular things it's a bit too land dependent it's you know too wonder dependent too uh, niche but i would love to see some more of it it does have a very powerful unit it does have that uh, amazing ability to get a lot of diplo favor and uh, we've seen it time after time um, at, 
uh, try to go for that uh, Diplo victory. Sometimes he got it, sometimes he didn't. It. it is what it is. Uh, Trinda with uh, Montezuma uh, coming up with uh, Aztec. Uh, of course, uh, depending on the, his uh, uh, continents, he's going to get uh, more or less uh, bonuses. Uh, we do have also Kabachok with uh, Shaka, and uh, we've seen yesterday how Shaka can do. Amazing production coming up in the early to mid game, and of course, uh, late game, I uh, did have a lot of army to go for. It got nuked, though. It got nuked. His army got nuked multiple times, and uh, even though he had a lot of production going, he couldn't actually replace them as fast as he was losing them. Uh, Kabachok here with uh, Shaka, I do believe uh, he's going to be quite um, aggressive, but thinking of this, I wouldn't actually think Kabachok is going to go for Shaka. I'm thinking Kabachok might be more um, appropriate to go for Rome or uh, something else. We got Kavnosh. Uh, wait, is that is that how it's called? Gavkosh. Wait a second. Gavkoshim. 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 Uh, going for uh, Japan. Uh, Hojo Tokimun, uh, of course, being the leader. I I gotta say, looking at the rosters over here, I have a really big uh, doubt when it comes to the gold generation. Yes, Kupe can uh, do a lot of gold generation in the Japan, but it's not uh, on the same level as uh, Portugal or Eleanor could be. And if we do need to see what they're gonna do. Mm, there are civilizations that are prone to going uh, towards those commercials and uh, trying to get also those um, uh, campuses from an early stage. Rome being one. We got uh, Philip II that uh, will he need to choose between going commercials or going uh, harbors. I believe commercials are still going to be a better way of uh, developing his empire. Uh, nice, he picked up uh, the colors for <laughs> for Coupe. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is what it is. He 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 picked it. Yeah, he did it. It is it is brown and it is yellow. What can I say, man? <laughs> Okay, so we got uh, everybody readying up. It uh, looks like uh, Forex is gonna go for Rome. We got uh, Michael on uh, Michael on uh, Hojo. We got uh, Alex on uh, Poundmaker. Bogini is gonna be on Shaka. Uh, Dimento on Philip II. Trinda on Montezuma. Cabacho on Coupe. And uh, Cyrus uh, looks like he's gonna play by, uh, be played by uh, Gav Noshk. Uh, let me see, can I find him in the channel somewhere, maybe, uh, oh, I know where to find him, I know where to find him, I have an idea, okay, team channels over here, and you are asking about uh, Bogini, right, uh, Bogini, 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 wait, there's no Bogini here, wait a second, what is this, where is big Bogini, why is he not, wait, what, so it needs to be on THT. Forex Bezdomi. Uh, is that Bezdomi? Did, did Be is Bezdomi plain and that's what he's uh It says he's oh yeah, he is it is Bezdomi, I found it. So it, he is from uh, well from uh, Austria and uh, I guess he's uh, he's staying there. Maybe he's uh, doing um his um uh, faculty. Oh well. Hello Akshat, hello there sir. Uh, Bogini is best dummy. There we go, I found him out. Yeah. It was a... Uh, there was a high chance of him being best dummy. <laughs> yeah. Hello Ox Daniel. Uh, Bogini is best dummy. Uh, he's... Um, let me actually see over here. He's playing Shaka today. Okay. Let me switch around uh, something so I can uh, have this uh, going. I do want to also take a look uh, over here on my uh, HW monitor uh, to see what's going on. I was uh, seeing a bit higher temperature than normal on the on the computer yesterday, so maybe I do need to uh, do something about it. Anyway, uh, you guys probably voted at the moment for uh, how many remaps, right? You did get the vote going, so it looks like you went for the nun. Somebody did go for the nun here. Well, we'll we'll see if how that will go. It looks like uh, Alex over here with uh, the settler is gonna have one, two, three, four. Not bad bonuses coming up for Kree. Just settling play, of course, on the one, two, and he's gonna get those uh, patches and the camps improved. Uh, I do see also he's gonna have uh, quite a few rivers to develop his empire in to the north to the south. Southwest, uh, ban some bananas over there. Uh, he can uh, even uh, settle this uh, coast. Doesn't have uh, that big of a problem. Uh, to the south also, he has. Um 
uh, to fight against Kupe. Kupe is gonna be on the seas. Okay, not bad. Uh, they're gonna at some point uh, get to clash against each other, but it's gonna take a while. And of course, you do see that Kupe uh, did spawn uh, relatively close to the water. He will probably settle the one, uh, the three one sheep down for that extra food. And uh, we're gonna need to see how fast uh, he's gonna develop other cities. Of course, um, has uh, quite a few options. Uh, oh, actually, he went for the copper tile. Okay, sure. I mean, why not? Uh, he. Um, I do have to point out it's a bit uh, awkward to see him uh, go in um, a set of location that doesn't actually give him a lot of uh, forest and rainforest. Uh, usually with the Maori you do want to have as much as possible. Uh, so uh, settling for example next to the mountain over here would have been um, uh, my choice to go for. Uh, you just want to be as uh, close as you can be uh, uh, with a lot of uh, production. And the copper has uh, two, three and a uh, fresh water. Yeah. True. That is uh, that is true. Uh, is that important though? Especially thinking about the lighthouse, uh, thinking about uh, early harbors and so on. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a lot of housing, right? Yeah, uh, Coupe on Highlands. Yes, Coupe on Highlands. Definitely interesting. Uh, to the southeast, we do have Spain with the ooh triple continent split. <laughs> This is one of those all my beer boys <laughs> moment. We got to Dement over here with uh, Spain coming up with a 2-1 choice. Um, uh, it does look like uh, he is going to have some bananas to work for that extra food and can settle a series on a triple continents. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's just going to keep on expanding on Nunia and he's going to get all of those uh, missions. We do have him with a scout coming up in three. Of course, uh, extra food uh, is going to push his population in three turns as well. Uh, he's going to start um, uh, discovering the lands to the west side. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get another city here to the south uh, towards Madrid. Very important uh, fact that he's going to get to the city over here. He's going to have Magnus to plug in. He's going to get all of those um, uh, early advantages for his traders. And of course, uh, Demento will need to choose what kind of um, bonuses he's going to want to get. Actually, I've seen uh, players uh, do uh, ignore the bonuses coming up from Magnus and um, uh, try to get as many yields for his uh, for the trade outs as uh, they possibly can get. Uh, so we I do want to wait for um, his choices to be revealed. So then we're gonna talk about what he is gonna get. We do have a uh, Rome forex to the northeast uh, to the north actually of the middle of the, um, the screen. Uh, for this he's gonna have a 2-3 uh, deer tile uh, to work on the east side he does have a ship from underneath and that's gonna turn into a 2-2 anyway it is what it is he does have also a plus four uh, campus uh, to the northwest and i do see him uh, benefiting from uh, some fresh water from the rivers not a lot of it on the west side though he's gonna have this uh, in late uh, in the yeah, inland sea that he's gonna have to settle but i do like uh, his one tile lakes uh, to the south that uh, he can settle on of course uh, rome is not really that phased uh, because of fresh water or no fresh water it can get uh, early aqueducts the paths uh, uh, build them uh, half cost and uh, with with that uh, he's gonna get the housing and um, uh, he also gets the monument that means uh, he can uh, open up uh, with uh, granaries instead so it is kind of a, a best of the both worlds uh, kind of situation over here for uh, forex uh, in the southeast, we do have Japan with uh, Kyoto settling on uh, incense style. He's going to get an extra point of uh, faith from that city center. And of course, you do see he's going to have a few more tutus to work uh, to the south and to the north. Interesting that he didn't actually go for the um, uh, coast over here, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, he is usually not going for, uh, or I should say Japan usually is not going for commercials because uh, there's no, uh, that there's not that much adjacency that he can get and uh, from what i can see of course he has a lot of uh, coast over here to go for his uh, harbors harbors are going to give him a lot of uh, yields uh, i do also notice to the northeast we do have uh, persia with um, uh, quite a few rivers uh, gaff noshk over here is uh, gonna get um, Mohenodaro to the west side, maybe to um, uh, take over. Uh, we do have him with uh, one city to the north and uh, another city to the south. His east and west are a bit lacking in uh, fresh water. Uh, it's gonna take him a while to actually settle all of these cities and I gotta say this is a bit sad from all of the spawns I've seen till now. This is one of the uh, weaker ones when it comes to the expansions but very strong capital. He does have a 2-3 deer tile, a 2-2 uh, over there, a sheep tile. Uh, one of these uh, geothermals for extra GCC towards his um, campuses and of course uh, you do see the strategic resources uh, available for him. 
And my only worry is uh, his expanse rather than his uh, first city. Uh, there's also quite a bit of an advantage from settling faster rather than later on a better city. And uh, we do, of course, uh, see that, uh, unfortunately, uh, Persia is going to need to go uh, longer for better cities rather than uh, closer for uh, weaker cities. Well, we'll see. We'll see what he's going to do here. He does have on the east side, actually, uh, Zulu to fight. Uh, it does look like Bogini is uh, gonna be on his eastern flank and we do see Ulundi over here uh, did go for a 2-1 base with a 2-3 deer title to work. Uh, his uh, expansion possibilities are gonna be prone to go towards the west side here, uh, probably towards those uh, mountains. He does have uh, two relatively strong cities, but a long way to go for the mountains. Uh, that will put him really close to Persia, and they will probably fight for this uh, river at some point. Uh, Ulundi over here is pointing out uh, Settler can go for the Cliffs of Dover. Actually, I would say uh, this should be uh, his uh, first uh, his first choice of a city. Uh, that would put him with a possible plus four uh, campus to the north. It will give him the extra era score the culture the cold and uh, quite a bit of uh, production from those tiles lack of fresh water though is gonna be a bit of a pain but you can definitely get it uh, there is a problem for him a Zulu uh, actually no there is not a pro oh there is no problem for him no problem sir we got the Maori here in the south with an av available uh, trade out uh, connection towards uh, Bogini, towards the north of uh, Zulu, and of course uh, if they do manage to get those uh, coastal trade routes, he's gonna have a really, really good uh, tiles to work. Uh, really good yields, I should say. Wait, uh, this guy in Spain is gonna go back well. Indeed, we do have uh, Kaba, uh, he, so he will be uh, probably building a hundred units and running to someone. Um, yeah, it does look like that. I've only been playing Civ for around five, six weeks. Let me try to understand what you're saying. He will build a hundred units and become irrelevant because someone will kill his units quickly. Um, so. Let me actually finish this and um, I'm going to talk about that. Trinda is going to have uh, Aztec. Uh, Aztec with uh, double continents, maybe a triple continent actually. He has access to the western continent, the green one. Uh, that would put him on um, 12 uh, possible amenities. Uh, tw uh, that's 12 possible attack damage. Uh, that is uh, quite a powerful advantage. The problem is no fresh water. Like look at this. I open up the four uh, lands and I don't see fresh water. This is to the southwest, to the northwest, he doesn't have fresh water. Southeast as well is very far away, like 10 tiles apart. And uh, his only option will be to probably settle on the seas or close to it. Uh, that's going to be an issue. He's going to have to fight uh, two of his opponents over there. And definitely, uh, well, actually, wait, they're allies anyway. They're allies. He's not going to get to fight them. It's fine. Uh, but still, the fresh water problem is uh, going to be quite taxing on him. Um, we do have them choosing the map. The thin line between a god spawn and a dog spawn, yeah. Uh, the return of the cake lake. <laughs> the return of the cake lake, yes. Uh, there is uh, an advantage, by the way, for him in uh, the capital city. He does have... Um as you can see, two geothermals uh, to benefit from, and he's gonna put an easy campus over there, a plus four. Uh, that will allow him to actually get uh, more bonuses towards other districts as well from those uh, tiles, and uh, I do want to see what he's gonna do with this pawn. Uh, quite uh, problematic, but I, I believe it's workable, workable very slow though it's slow you know what i mean it's very slow anyway uh, to come back on uh, what was being said over here the small soldiers about um, the 100 units and become irrelevant um usually your empire has a set amount of production right and uh, everybody else in the game has a set amount of production so if you think about it this way you have always um, a bottle of water right that you put you put the production in different things and uh, some players would put a lot of production into seeming with a little bit of production into worry uh, and because they want to be competitive with everybody else in the game and uh, that actually gives them um, a good chance of being competitive unfortunately if you go for a war and, uh, you, and you put the majority of your uh, water of your effort into uh, warring units and you don't get a result uh, because uh, your uh, your opponent might actually um, uh, get um, uh, or say more enough technology to stop your units or however many you will have they're still gonna die against his uh, units because they're higher in technology uh, your effort in the long term doesn't pay off and you basically uh, remain uh, irrelevant to the game because you can't catch up to all of your uh, opponents 
or even your allies sometimes. That's unfortunately one of the traps of uh, quote unquote irrel wars. That's why we call them irrel wars. The more effort you put into warring, the less uh, effort you're gonna get to put into, you're ha gonna have available to put in your um, uh, seeming cap capabilities and uh, that uh, takes away from uh, your uh, competitiveness in the later stages of the game. Uh, wait. Justice, hello there, sir. I, I, yeah, I don't think uh, he's actually an IRL player. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure uh, most of the time we've seen uh, Kabachok uh, try to do uh, mo uh, simming, but at some point in the game, he does turn on those uh, uh, war maneuvers. Well, we'll see. Anyway, coming back on this, we do need to uh, check out all of the players uh, again. I do want to take a look at uh, their spawns uh, with uh, the strategic options for them. Uh, Alex with an iron tile to the side first ring horses also first ring he does have another iron tile to the northwest and um I do see him uh, going for that uh, banana towards the south uh, west. Uh, interesting choice. Anyway, uh, I'm actually uh, waiting for him to get all of those uh, improved uh, since he does have uh, possible four bonuses in his uh, trade routes. The four uh, extra um, uh, gold and the four extra food will uh, be amazing on him. Uh, Mickey Sivwanchip is gonna be a beast of a city, not to mention all of his other cities will get uh, that bonus. How he will turn that advantage into something amazing, uh, we're gonna get to see. You still need to like uh, put the production in the correct things uh, in, during the game and of course the benefit from them in the later stages of the game uh, i think i also need to put up uh, on the screen over here the team names let me actually get them really quickly because you know it, does, it doesn't take long but i do need to put them uh, tv uh, wait it's uh, tht what is it i think it's tht right yeah tht Okay, there we go. So we got on the left side Night Hyena, on the right side it's THT, and uh, we do need to finish uh, the prediction. Choose outcome is gonna be none. Okay, actually, somebody did uh, win this. Very nice, very nice. Let's start up the prediction with uh, the next ones who will win. On one side, we got uh, Night Hyena, on the other side is uh, THT, and we got 30 minutes to go for this. Got it. Good. Uh, of course, he does his uh, uh, good. Okay, so well, uh, oh, you have more city size stats in the lobby. It's not being real though. Yeah. Hello, Gassy Anthony. Hello there, sir. Welcome. And the uh, Sino knew me. Uh, the thin line between a god spawn and a good log spawn. I do really want to uh, see what uh, you're talking about. Maybe we're going to see something like that in the game here. Now, anyway, it looks like uh, we do have. Um, f uh oh. Oh my god. He doesn't see this. So this is a Maori scout. And Alex has a settler, right? He he doesn't know about the scout, but he's gonna get to see it next turn. They did declare war, and uh, the scout actually might actually make a, a last move here. That's gonna be quite a problem. Now we did have him uh, come from a long way, or not a long? No, he doesn't have a long way. Uh, from what I can see, let me actually take a look. Kabachok did see the borders. Okay, he did see the borders. He saw the bananas over here. Has the choice of moving um, to the northeast and uh, try to get uh, more scouting done, or go onto the bananas and of course see what's there. Or even on the two twos, he could go for the two twos as well. There is a high chance of him uh, actually uh, last moving this and uh, going and taking over that settler. Oh, not the correct one. Yeah, does he have enough movement? That's the good. Uh, that's the question. He does have enough movement to go for that uh, settler. We do have, of course, uh, Kabachok with an amazing opportunity over here taking a settler from his opponent. Uh, Alex did move away. He did try to get away, getting his Oxytow in place. He shift entering like a madman over here. You do see him. <laughs> Trying to get the shift to um, defend his settler, Kabachok running like mad against that uh, unit. Uh, while we do have another settler coming up from Mikisiv watching. Oh man, I think that's you know that's that's enough. That's uh, I'm pretty sure Alex is gonna get uh, the shift enter on the settler, and then he's gonna get to settle in place. There he's gonna have a two-two base, and uh, he's uh, gonna probably need to buy that those bananas. Oh wait, is promoter scout? Yes, yes. Get him! <laughs> uh, can we get a prediction on a uh, Cooper playstyle? I wonder if uh, Beast of Perfect Season he probably build a hundred units in his lair. <laughs> well, I think uh, Kabachok over here first will go for his uh, harbors, then we're gonna see him get the stats up, and then we will, we can actually see uh, some um, uh, 
uh, to us, maybe go against uh, Kree. Uh, they're not that close though, I gotta say, he's not that close uh, for a Thor engagement. Okay, so I don't want to see uh, how the settler is going to be safe here, and there we go, we got a settler safe, Kabachok actually ended up attacking uh, to the Okchitao, that city got settled, and uh, this is danger over. Uh, looking at Spain, we do have him uh, settling the first city to the southwest, uh, next to that uh, fertile on the 2-2 base, uh, he's going to get a monument down, and I do see him uh, getting a trader, uh, those are going to get a lot of bonuses by the way, those traders, uh, moving uh, from Seville to Madrid. We got him with a possible iron tile to the south of Madrid, a horse tile in the third ring of uh, that city center to the northeast, and I do see him benefiting from another horse tile here on the city of Seville. Now we do need to see what kind of pantheon is he gonna go for, that's gonna give us an idea of uh, how is he gonna want to develop this uh, empire, and of course uh, we do need to see also his technology, looks like he's going currency quite fast over here, uh, three of them are actually going currency, we got um, Gavnosk with... Um, uh, Demento and Alex, uh, all of them going there, while um, Japan is gonna go for um, something else, he's gonna go animal husbandry, okay. Uh, we do need to see also Rome coming up with uh, Settler Lugdunum to the southwest, you do see he's gonna get another Settler over there, a bit uh, surprising he's going on the same road, uh, I was uh, thinking he's gonna go uh, north or east, but uh, it does look like he's gonna settle south much much faster, now uh, he did uh, discover the south I guess uh, much faster than the other cities, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna get the trader coming up from Lugdunum in 3, he already got uh, the monument in there and I do see him getting a builder out from Rome, has access to an iron tile to the east side, a bit of a problem with his uh, horses, uh, he only has horses in the southeast over here of Rome, or did he settle on one, is that a cattle, that is a cattle tile, so uh, the only horse tile he's gonna get to benefit from is this one to the southeast of Rome over here on the one tile lake, yeah, that he's gonna need to settle, we're gonna need to see how fast he's gonna try to go there, I'm expecting him actually to uh, turn to the southeast with his uh, settler over here, he just used the road for a little bit the faster route and of course uh, now uh, he's gonna need to show us where he's gonna wanna go um, Spain continent split is amazing, yes, the Spain Spanish continent split is unbelievable, triple continent split, uh, Nusnia, Asia, America and Baltica, unbelievable we do have uh, Japan also with uh, two holy sites, he's uh, gonna start up with holy sites, this is actually quite interesting, it's been a while since we've seen uh, Japan uh, go for the same way of uh, with uh, the holy sites, I do believe it's a strong opening, of course uh, we do need to see how he's gonna um, get all of those bonuses, uh, he did choose sacred path as a pantheon, so he's getting the adjacency towards those uh, holy sites from um, the forest and the rainforest, not bad, he's gonna get plus uh, four, plus six, and uh, he does have iron tile to improve to the west of Kyoto um, with uh, horses, where are the horses, no horses, no horsey, oh the only horsey he has uh, is gonna be to the south, very far away actually, uh, five tiles away from uh, the city of Kyoto, and that's a bit too far away to uh, get to improve it anytime soon. Uh, anyway, the city of Ky Tokyo is also gonna have uh, the bananas for uh, some extra food and acquirement, and I do see him uh, getting a monument out for that uh, nice and juicy uh, culture from both uh, cities. We do have uh, Persia coming up with uh, those internal trade routes already, he's gathering a bit more culture now on, and uh, he did settle the city of Susa directly to the south, uh, we'll probably put a city over there on the coast where that uh, Aztec warrior is, uh, we do need to see um, how fast he is gonna manage to settle all of those cities, because I did mention uh, the east is gonna be a problem with uh, Zulu being there, uh, the north, uh, yes, he's gonna have a settle either on the stone tile or even on the desert, even though honestly I wouldn't actually go for the desert. I guess he does have a place for a Petra, but it's kind of dangerous to go for one. Uh, we do need to see um, also what kind of um, uh, technology he's gonna go for. He's choosing currency, so probably we're gonna see merch, uh, commercials uh, put down really early from him and try to get the advantages from uh, those um, early trade routes. On the strategic resources, he does have uh, iron tile to the east side, a horse tile to the west side, I do see in uh, Susa he's gonna have a lot of food from underneath his settle, that is a uh, rice tile that he settled on, a uh, 4-1, and he does have multiple honey tiles to improve, uh, that means uh, he's gonna get to work a lot of these hills, that's gonna be quite an important city for him. Uh, 
in the southeast of him we do have uh, Aztec with uh, already a campus coming out quite an unusual position it's only gonna be a plus a three instead of the plus fours that he could have had on the west side I do have to point out uh, going for these plus fours uh, would have um, required going animal husbandry or um, bronze working so maybe he didn't want to wait for that to happen because you do see he already placed the three of them a plus three from from sochi calco this is going to be another plus three over here from Teayo. Uh, so he's going to have really really quickly um, his uh, district district discount uh, he's going for the discount boys we got trinda over here with uh, 12 science and three culture uh, also 19 production a bit weak in the production scene he's going to get a trader he's probably going to work internals even though he could send it on um, the seas towards the Maori. Uh, in the um, uh, strategic resource screen, we do have uh, Iron Tile to the south of Tenochtitlan. I do see uh, he doesn't actually have any benefits from um, horse tiles i don't see a horse tile anywhere this is actually quite a horse weak map only a few civilizations have horses um, I'm, I'm thinking about the impact of this is uh, honestly minimal when you're talking about the highlands because you're not going to get a lot of attacks going against your opponent anyway the proximity is just not going to be there uh, but at the same time it kind of feels like they're still going to need the horses for some uh, later on engagements especially if they want to go for something like calves hey zeke yeah yeah hello there sir and welcome thank you so much for the follow uh, we do have uh, in the north uh, Zulu with uh, already his Ikandas uh, being put down. A very important uh, trait over here for uh, Zulu to get those Ikandas as soon as possible built. Uh, he can uh, couple his uh, Penbash and Voice uh, Golden Age with uh, those Ikanda buildings. He can get a lot of um, culture and gold at the same time. And then, uh, of course, um, he will start uh, generating those uh, great general points. We do have Babanango settled as the second city on uh, Cliffs of Dover where he is uh, generating some extra culture uh, already on. Uh, five and six uh, he's lacking a bit of science but i wouldn't uh, be worried that much especially with the mountains uh, that he has on the uh, series i do notice um, he does have a scout on a plus four uh, campus adjacency it's just a matter of time until he's gonna get to chop that uh, babanango did put one of the ikandas on a, a horse style i see ulundo Ol ulundi also has two horse styles to improve over there to the northwest um, one second ring one third ring it's secondary for Bulawayo, so not that expensive. Uh, also, his island town is going to be northeast of Ulundi. He does know about it because he discovered bronze working. We got Moksha establishing in uh, the city of Ulundi. Okay, I was thinking maybe he should actually go for something like a Pingala opening with this um, start because he already has a lot of culture coming out uh, from his um, cities. And when he's going to start opening up that pen brush and voice, he's uh, uh, going to get a lot of culture anyway. So maybe uh, going for a Pingala over here would have been um, nice to uh, counterbalance the extra culture that you're going to get. So you get some more science. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It's definitely a good opening. You can uh, get fast up to your governor titles with the governor titles you can get pingala later and it's fine uh, we do have uh, also uh, in the south uh, coming up uh, maori with uh, already internals uh, engara hua ya is going to go for uh, the southeast and wait is that me or the two players no two players actually just dropped alex and forex was that a host that was the host right is it uh, i think it jumped on to me Okay, yeah, it jumped on to me. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna... Okay, I'm gonna re-lobby on me. Just uh, give me a second here so I can uh, restart the game. I usually want to restart the game whenever this happens. Um... Oh wow, I just went over 8,000 hours in Civ 6. I just realized 8,000 hours. Oh my god. Kick W, bro.
Okay, and uh, let me. give them the link we're just waiting for everybody to uh, get back in yeah that's a lot of hours indeed hello there Abraham how are you doing sir welcome welcome We're just waiting for the Rom and the Kapachok to reconnect, and that's about it. Should be fine, should be fine. Uh, Relobby, re Relobby. They already set on the map. They, this is going to be the map being played on. Uh, they already decided they're not going to get the remap going. They uh, passed on the, their ability to uh, get uh, uh, to use the remap votes. So it is what it is. The remap tokens, actually. I am actually quite uh, interested to see how uh, Philip II is going to get to develop those empire and that empire and it's always a pleasure to see uh, Coupe being played. Um, honestly, he has so many options, especially with Coupe. It's a, quite a flexible um, a civilization, has a lot of um, sea to settle and um, of course he's going to get a lot of production going from those unimproved uh, tiles. We do need to see uh, if he's going to go for his Mares. Uh, usually, uh, Cooper does uh, get quite a bit of faith and the culture, the uh, kite culture from his tiles with the Mares, and uh, that's uh, the unique building of the Maori. It does uh, give you the culture and the faith on all of the city tiles with a passable feature. And uh, we do need to uh, check that out. Uh, what is he going to go for? Uh, I've also seen at some point players uh, do try to couple preserves with Mares, which is actually quite a powerful uh, combination. If you do manage to get something like, um, uh, how to say, Earth Goddess on your tiles, it's just going to be insane amount of uh, faith that you're going to generate. Uh, later in the game, you do uh, get the opportunity to get a lot of um, rock bands. Yeah. See you later, Ryotin. See you later. I hope uh, you're going to find uh, what you need for swimming. Okay, just going back into the game now. Loading, please wait. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, the great beast. The great beasts. <laughs> it is what it is. So we do have a Capacho with uh, Bogini. Trinda and Forrest coming up from uh, THT, not Haina with uh, still Alex, uh, Michael, Demento, and. Um, Oh man, wait, uh, Gavkosh, Gavkosh. Looking at uh, the game here, well, it looks like uh, the players are starting to uh, expand their third series uh, relatively quickly. Uh, Zulu did manage to get um, those Ikandas going. I was talking about, uh, I wanted to, to talk about Maori next. And uh, Aztec, I think uh, Aztec, uh, we did talk about him with uh, the lack of uh, horses. And on Maori, uh, we do have a clear lack of both iron and horses at the, the same time. 
He doesn't have either of those uh, strategic resources. What he does have is uh, the Dead Sea to settle on the southeast of his empire, where uh, he will find uh, one of those uh, meteor signs to get. Of course, uh, at the moment, he didn't actually get to scout that way, and uh, by the looks of it, uh, we are waiting for everybody to uh, check in. Let me actually take a look at his scouting. So he does know about the Dead Sea. He doesn't know about the other side. He knows that the Tundra is going to be relatively close to him, and he's probably going to get to stay on these cities. Uh, the fact that he's going to have a really close adjacency to Aztec will mean uh, he's going to get to trade with Aztec uh, relatively early, which is going to be nice. Uh, the beginning of the game, it doesn't give you that many um, yields from the trade routes, but I'm pretty sure uh, Kabachok over here is going to try to get uh, Aztec to build uh, quite a few harbors, commercials and so on. Uh, of course, uh, Aztec is going to be interested in that as well. Uh, we do have uh, a few... Pantheons also chosen by the players. The religious settlements, for example, is going to be chosen by uh, uh, Maori. And uh, I do see him uh, getting a geothermal fissure to work on the E side. Okay, very nice. That's going to give him the nice adjacency. Uh, going for Magnus in the capital, another setter coming up in one. Uh, already he's getting a 4 2 tiles to work from those floods. And uh, of course, uh, he has uh, quite a few cities that he could settle over here to the northwest. Interesting that he went the religious settlements instead of going for the um, uh, God of the Sea pantheon. I as he does have a decent amount of resources here and he is probably going to get to settle most of this well he is probably going to also settle right in the face of Cree so looking at his uh, initial settle locations here he's going to have one on the Dead Sea not that amazing but can settle so that's one another two cities over here could be placed towards uh, Aztec that's another three another one to the north that's four five six seven he could go for another seven cities other than his uh, three ones that he placed at the moment and get uh, all of those yields done. I do have to point out there was a forest fire in the city of um, Engaragua uh, with um, the bananas getting a bit more um, yields. We got a 2-3 base with a 3-3 three, three banana. That's not... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He just got his uh, extra um, uh, production. I see 2-3 tiles over here. One force. Uh, this is the moment he got his extra production. I was uh, quite excited to see a forest fire but it's not what it is um flying will hello there sir hi everyone hi lg is participating in a character event called the event i know about the event hello there sir and this year the money will go to uh, four environmental associations if you want to donate it would be great as he has donation goals that involve more events in the near future uh if uh, i think i can help him a little bit differently if uh, he can uh, share with me like a widget or like a donation widget i can put an automated message on my uh, channel and uh, i can help him out with uh, that if you guys don't know Leech and uh, you should actually I think uh, most of you do know Leech uh, this is uh, Leech he is uh, participating in the Z event right now and uh, he's um uh, I, I guess I, I have to explain what the Z event is the Z event is uh, uh, an event where uh, a lot of the French streamers gather uh, once, twice or three times a year. Uh, they do get uh, to play together in uh, different kinds of tournaments. They do get to play in, uh, just for fun. They get to meet each other. They get to um, uh, bounce ideas and at the same time have fun uh, in the um, uh, event. Uh, the whole goal of the event is to actually get uh, some kind of visibility towards uh, a charitable event or another, a charitable event or another, and uh, most of the time you will see them uh, try to get as much money as possible so they can um, get the donations going for um, uh, for that particular event. That's the whole goal, right? They're all running towards that goal. They try to get uh, as much entertainment bonus as possible for uh, their audience, so uh, they are... Um, gonna help them out uh, in the charitable events so uh if you guys uh, want to follow leech definitely i did put him uh, as a link over here in the shout out uh flying will if you can actually uh, give me some form of a um, uh, how to say some form of a widget i will happily help this uh, out by the way uh, we do have uh, to talk about uh, Maori's choices over here of religious settlements versus the production. Religious settlements does help you get a lot of uh, settlers out and like I pointed out he can get uh, to 10 settlers relatively quickly. So I'm uh, expecting him to uh, try to settle as many cities as quick as possible. Going for Magnus in the capital does allow him to work those internals for extra food, extra production. And uh, we do need to see how, how um, he's going to plan this out. I do see him going for harbors. He's going to have 
have uh, some extra decent amount of gold coming up from those harbors. Yeah, but he's not gonna get the signs. I'm actually curious of his golden age if he's gonna go for Pembrush and Voice or he is, is gonna go for something else like, um, um, how to say, like Free Inquiry. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how that uh, develops. Okay, Kree is gonna go for his settle to the north. It was delayed a little bit, but now he's gonna get it over there. I'm actually uh, okay, a bit surprised he went for the northwest instead of the east side, but I guess um, he had a little bit of a problem with uh, his production over there. Oh, uh, I see what it is. It's the food and the production. Lack of two twos. Now I get it. Now I get it, boys. Okay, there was a plus three campus over there that he could have benefit from, benefited from, but it was quite um, expensive to get everything worked up there. I only want two two to work. And and of course, um, he didn't want to spend the gold to get uh, three tiles away, far away. Anyway, going for a trader from Mr. Hissi Peak. Uh, he's going to get another trader soon at Pottery. Uh, I do believe uh, he's going to need to um, uh, also settle quite a few cities over here to defend against Maori. And I'm pretty sure Maori will try to do some shenanigans uh, against him. Uh, we don't need to see when, you know, when. Uh, and then link uh, fair on don't make a donation in fair. Oh, you're making me work for this, aren't you? Uh, let me see. <laughs> um. okay, give me a second. Fair and done. There, there we go. Okay. I got it. I got it, sir. I got it. Let me... Uh, no, I think I think most of the time actually I um, if you guys are wondering I do uh, I do believe uh, there is an awesome opportunity to get a lot of um, uh, how to say um, to get the word out uh, using uh, streamers and using uh, games and so on and so forth especially on the charitable and charitable events uh, one of the um uh, reasons I do want to help is of course uh, I've been in uh, quite a few charitable events and it's always always an amazing feeling to actually get to that uh, uh, honestly, get to that goal that you set in your mind for uh, for a charity uh, you're gonna have uh, internally you're gonna be so happy that you managed to help out uh, somebody else and it, it does give you such a uh, you know such a good well-being uh, that you managed to uh, help out so I, I do want to uh, try really quickly uh, to put a uh, timer uh, going uh, so let's see um, Lige Z event um, the event is a gathering donations for Okay, um, interval, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, no offline, okay. There we go. I got it going, I got it going, okay, uh, so coming back on this, uh, let me actually take a look on uh, Spain, we do have uh, him on three cities, he's getting his uh, setter out, uh, the fourth setter coming out from Madrid, finally Magnus is establishing, uh, gonna go for commercials first, you do see two, uh, three of them got placed, and uh, this would actually be uh, quite an interesting Machu Picchu play, by the way, if he does manage to get Machu Picchu, he's gonna get the extra adjacency towards uh, these uh, commercials, not bad, not bad, uh, going for um, also God of the Sea as a Pantheon, he's gonna get the extra production coming, coming up from improving his uh, fish tiles and we do see uh, uh, Dement over here with uh, the slingers uh, going towards the north uh, and the northwest is uh, trying to uh, push a little bit uh, back uh, the Roman warriors while he is trying to also get the scouting done around his uh, territory he knows he has quite a bit of sea he doesn't know exactly how much it, it expands and if there is somebody on the seas 
Uh, we do have uh, also uh, five more turns until the classical era. We still are going to need to bounce a little bit from um, place to place uh, to see their pantheons. Maybe they did choose some more. Okay, there we go. CD Patreon Goddess coming up for uh, Persia. He's going to get 50% um, discount, I guess, uh, towards uh, the first um, uh, district. 50% more production towards the first district of a city. So uh, only that first one will get a bonus. Now we do see uh, more settlers coming out from his cities and he is gonna need to uh, keep the defense up against the Aztec Eagle Warrior. Not that big of an issue, honestly. The Eagle Warrior is a 29 streak. The Warriors in um, the ideal terrain with the 45 bonus are 32. So uh, the Eagle Warrior is not actually gonna get to pressure him that bad. Uh, we do have... Um uh, we do have uh, in the overview uh, Bologna, uh, Taruga and uh, Nalanda coming up for the science city states uh, looks like uh, Cad, Preslav and uh, Lahore are going to be the ones uh, with uh, military bonuses, uh, Jerusalem coming up with uh, religious uh, benefits, uh, Rapa Nui, Kaguana and uh, Mohenio Daro will be the ones providing the bonuses towards culture and uh, we do have Cahokia coming up for the trade and Auckland coming up for industry, interesting, Auckland is actually going to be quite amazing, where is Auckland? Where is Auckland? Oh my god, Auckland is next to Spain oh, I can only imagine how fast Spain is gonna grow here uh, he is on let me take a look 27 production right now he only has one single trader working uh, he didn't improve any of these fish stars it needs to get this going by the way really quickly the, the fish stars need to be a priority not the fur tiles but the fish tiles now because you're gonna get that extra food going and you grow much faster you get the housing you, you get to uh, use more tiles and it just snowballs out of that uh, I do see him getting a builder out from Madrid and of course uh, he is aware that he's going to need to put a step on it. Uh, it looks like he's also going to go for the fertile for some extra um, uh, uh, happiness. Okay. He, oh, he has minus three in Seville. Oh, I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, let me actually take a look over here. Did this work, by the way? Uh, did the timer? I think the timer works. It just needs to uh, start up over there. Is there a command for it or uh, no? I hope it works. Anyway, uh, thank you, by the way, uh, Flying Will, for uh, the information. Much appreciated. I didn't uh, know exactly the details of uh, Legion's event. I, I got carried away with uh, my own uh, work. Uh, also, small soldiers with a quick question. Uh, what is the mechanic to land units fighting at sea? Can a warrior fight a barb galley at sea? If so, any penalties? Thinking about playing a coupe game tonight. Uh, the uh, units, land units cannot fight on the seas. So they basically get onto boats and... Um, they uh, they do have uh, less strength than on the land, uh, adjust the strength, uh, I believe it's called, on the seas, it's usually like half strength, and um, galleys can attack into them, they cannot attack into galleys. So there are quite a few penalties from uh, going that way. Um, you can escort them with... Um, galleys or quadrims, so they have uh, more strength and get they get protected by uh, the big boats. Uh, Coupes though, it's a, diff a different beast, uh, not, not that it's uh, actually gonna work with uh, uh, his, uh, how to say, uh, yeah, exactly, boats take no damage hitting land units in water, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, it's quite powerful. Uh, Coupe is a different beast because his uh, towers uh, do, uh, and his units usually, his land units go much faster on the seas and um, they can uh, disembark really quickly. Uh, I believe uh, we can actually take a look at uh, Coupe's bonuses over here to see exactly the um, uh, how to say the thing used the um uh, bu, 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 bu. there we go embarked units gain two movement this is uh, the important thing is uh, really really fast uh, to discover the things on the seas <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think uh, most of everybody did manage to get their uh, Pantheon, God of Craftsman coming up for uh, Zulu. Well, now he's going to be a bit mad. He actually settled that he can on a horse style, but it is what it is. Um, he, he did manage to improve uh, two other horses to the northwest, and he's probably going to need to get that iron improved for some extra... Uh, points of um, production uh, we do have him with um, the sheep tiles also he's getting his bad access uh, he's starting to acquire a lot of these great general points at 10 already on four he's gonna be on five and six when he's gonna finish uh, babarango and ulundi's um, uh, sorry uh, bulawayo's 
uh, barracks. Uh, I was expecting him to go for uh, the fourth and the fifth setter uh, quite quickly. He's gonna be behind in setters uh, to um, uh, Bev Kosh. Uh, did I hear that? say that? Oh my god, wait, wait, wait a second. Uh, Gafkosh, Gafkosh, not Bev Gafkosh. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this. I, I'm gonna probably mess up uh, quite a few times uh, saying these names. Um, Yeah. Gosh. Okay. Uh, we do have uh, those uh, commercials coming off from uh, multiple cities of uh, Cree, and of course, you do see at the moment um, Aztec is uh, starting to get those. Uh, wow, those projects already got the projects, and I do see him uh, getting Zankian as a great merchant. That's very nice. He's going to get uh, an extra trade route capacity, very important for Aztec. Uh, getting that from an early stage, quite uh, surprising. He actually did manage to get the commercial so early with those um, projects in. Of course, uh, he does have minus in the capital. I do see him uh, putting those uh, three. Um, campuses uh three dies already on 18 science and the uh, seven culture 34 production and uh, you do see him uh, quite uh, uh, quite fast on uh, getting those merchants and that is very important especially compared to spain and to um and to Persia, the fact that they didn't go for their uh, campuses into commercials uh, does mean uh, they're gonna take a, a little longer time to actually get everything done and we're gonna need to see when they're gonna get that going if uh, they're gonna get enough uh, points to be uh, competitive let me actually uh, take a look and switch the screens here there we go and do need to switch the screens uh, triple discount enjoyer exactly triple discount enjoyer very very uh, strong start coming up from Aztec here Well, now uh, we do need to see also what kind of bonuses they're gonna get next turn. I do believe everybody is gonna have their golden age just started. Uh, I did notice uh, there's um, uh, an important difference coming up from Kabachok's um, city count and at the same time on production. You do see him on 48 production. All of these cities will benefit from a uh, uh, wow, very, very big advantage uh, coming against uh, Kree. Now you do see he's working 2-3-3 tiles, 2-3s, 1-4s and uh, so on. Uh, in most of his cities he's gonna get a very fast uh, development in his uh, harbors and uh, with that he's gonna get uh, more stats. Now uh, it's gonna be revealed if he's gonna try to go for uh, something like um, uh, free inquiry or pen brush and voice both of them do have uh, their different uh, options and of course uh, as you can see he didn't actually get to plug in yet moksha uh, or uh, pingala in either of his cities so he's not generating a lot of culture he's just getting uh, 10 science and 11 uh, culture at the moment while he's uh, definitely gonna need to discover um, those um, the governor points uh, looks like uh, he's also going for a governor plaza in the capital city to the southwest maybe he's trying to get uh, some more adjacency towards his um, uh, campuses there and i still don't see him actually settling the dead sea i can't say i blame him because honestly there's not enough food here and uh, i don't think he actually has uh, good times to work he's just gonna get some era score and that's about it uh, looking at uh, the other nations so now that we did go for um uh, for a golden age, we do have um, Gafkosh with uh, Persia going for uh, horseback riding in four, and I do see him penbrush and voice uh, golden. It's six science and twelve culture. He did go for minus internals, chopping a few of these uh, builders and starting uh, to uh, settle his fourth and fifth city. Unfortunately, the lack of fresh water is going to force him to go to the west side, while uh, he does have in the east side the uh, Zulu to contend with. Uh, Zulu might actually try to go against him at some point, especially with the early production and the uh, advantages that Zulu benefits from. We might see some uh, horse course or even coarser course come against um, Persia and that will be uh, quite a problem uh, for uh, Gafkosh. I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to um yeah, he's gonna need to defend against this and get uh, the um, defense uh, properly in the same in the correct time we do have a uh, demanto with uh, pen brush and voice uh, golden age on philip the second four cities uh, i'm waiting for the fifth and the sixth settle uh, of he did go for a government plaza to the southwest of uh, madrid honestly i'm still well i guess uh, he's gonna get some theater squares there but i would have thought he's gonna try to put it over here to the northwest uh, to get um, the gcc of the mountains towards those uh, campuses but it's fine like this he's still gonna get uh, more adjacency towards other districts and i'm pretty sure that's uh, the reason he actually got it like that 
we got a campus coming out from Seville uh, plus a three. I do see a uh, trader coming out from that city center as well. Uh, now that he's uh, starting to put his uh, markets into his cities, he's gonna get uh, more commercials and he's gonna get more trade routes. Uh, finally, he got the fish improved for the extra food and the production that uh, he's generating. And um, from what I can see at the moment, uh, he's not really doing uh, that much in the scientist screen or the merchant screen. He's uh, barely on 2.3 green merchant points a turn and he's gonna need to get uh, really quickly to a uh, higher points. Uh, Alex on uh, Pen Bash and Voice with uh, Pawn Maker uh, did uh, try to go for the early commercials. Now he's pulling the campuses. He it needed to be the other way around though uh, to get the maximum amount of uh, district discount but it is what it is. He wanted to go uh, earlier for uh, the merchant points while he, he does have uh, four great merchant points. It doesn't look like uh, he didn't manage to acquire those. He does have uh, God of War and Plunder as a Pantheon which will give him an extra merchant point for each of these uh, uh, commercials very nice too, by the way and also he's gonna get an advantage when it comes to his um uh, encampment uh, and uh, maybe if he's gonna go for admirals I do see him working madness internals and I do see him also improving quite a few of his styles unfortunately he didn't get to improve um, all of his uh, pastures and uh, camps in the capital so he's not getting the full benefits out of these trade routes only two uh, extra food and two extra gold per each of these uh, we do have of course the campus has started up with a plus uh, oh wait that's an encampment that's a okay encampment what is this campus this is the campus this is the plus Plus two, that's gonna turn into a plus three with the Gavron Plaza. Uh, we do have him with a plus uh, two over here next to Mr. Hisipik, and I'm pretty sure he's uh, quite aware uh, Kabachok is uh, after him to the south. We got uh, also Michael on um, Hojo Tokimun, Monumentality Golden Age on uh, Japan. He did uh, start to acquire 38 faith a turn, uh, and I do see him with Eastern Orthodoxy as a uh, as, uh, religion shrines and temple provides him uh, the plus three food and housing for each of these and lay ministry with the plus two faith and plus two culture respectively while we do have him going for um, arches and uh, more monuments he did manage to get settle a fourth city to the south and uh, he's going for a fifth city here uh, quite interesting that we actually have uh, japan here and the uh, persia and uh, of course uh, we do know about rome uh, going for the fourth and the fifth city while um, we don't have the same thing coming up from uh, spain i was uh, 100% expecting Spain over here to go for 56 cities uh, since he does have uh, the land to go for and uh, nobody is actually gonna get to bother him I do I have to point out uh, later on in the game Forex might actually come against him uh, we do have a uh, Forex to the northeast with uh, five cities Rome and uh, he has a decent uh, proximity towards uh, Spain in the mid to late game we do have uh, also to talk about uh, Kabachok with uh, Kupe he, is, uh, he did go for a pen brush and voice cold range he's gonna need to get the campuses for that uh, extra science and I do notice of course uh, he's gonna have um, some geothermals uh, to work unfortunately the geothermals uh, even if they are next to the mountains uh, and the reef tires um, they cannot be worked because he needs to chop those so yeah it's kind of bad you don't really want to chop anything at least this one is gonna get worked the, this one on the one three is gonna get on the one two is gonna get worked uh, and uh, we're gonna see another harbor over there being settled uh, I do see of course uh, he did uh, manage to get uh, two four five si wait two four six cities with a seventh one uh, coming on the way uh, going for audience chamber coming up from um, uh, his capital city and multiple harbors uh, he did manage to acquire uh, well right now he's on 2.3 terminal points a turn he's gonna get a lot more uh, and of course we do see him on 11 science and 20 culture he's on 32 gold a turn as well the uh, biggest gold maker and the biggest uh, production maker 66 production coming out of his uh, cities we got uh, Trinda also with uh, 21 science and 23 culture. Uh, you do see he's um, uh, managing to get with three cities a very good uh, bonus. Uh, getting some uh, scientists right now and I do see him working on more settles here. Uh, so Chicago two turns from getting a settler. Uh, in uh, Tenochtitlan he's going for ancestral hall and he did go for uh, fertility rights as a pantheon. Uh, I wouldn't actually say that's... Uh I would say uh, that's a mistake here. I actually think that might be very good for him. Uh, going for the extra food coming up from uh, these, uh, I would say, um, 
wheat tiles uh, he's gonna get to a higher production count and of course with that higher production count uh, higher food count he's gonna get uh, more production out of uh, working more tiles um, the big problem for him is the lack of fresh water rather than anything else and uh, he's gonna get more benefits from uh, improving my, uh, farms which is not bad uh, we do need to see if uh, he's gonna manage to settle all of this coast and if he's gonna split the coast with Maori on the east side uh, there is a possibility for him to get uh, another city here on the wheat or on the 2-1 but I think uh, Maori should actually have that city um, I can't really blame him that he didn't go uh, fast for more cities and the state uh, on three because honestly who would have, who would want to settle the west anyway right look at that look at that west white oh man that's so bad the lack of fresh water is just so bad there uh, we do uh, need to also take, take a look over here on uh, Bogini with uh, Zulu still on three cities he's gonna get the fourth and the fifth soon enough and the sixth and the seventh uh, you do see he's uh, yeah he's gonna get to expand really quickly here uh, doesn't have a classical unit to uh, work with and I do see him uh, starting up uh, his Gunvan Plaza with audience chamber um, he did manage to recruit one general i see um burika over there and of course uh, he's uh, generating 9.2 great general points a turn very quickly he's gonna start uh, running through all of the first four ones if uh, we're not gonna see persia get one he's gonna have a really bad time in the um, uh, medieval era especially when those uh, courses come out the courser core attack coming out from zulu with uh, maybe some uh, catapults is gonna be devastating if he manages to pull it off with enough uh, gold of course uh, having Coupe um, uh, on the same team having Rome on the same team with uh, a lot of gold generator uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get that going he does have a lack of science though eight science only with a 32 culture uh, he's gonna need the uh, pingala as soon as possible he's gonna need also some uh, campuses to um, uh, counterbalance that uh, extra culture that he's generating 57 production is gonna allow him to uh, be quite uh, successful here uh, we do have also forex with a penbash and voice golden age on uh, rome uh, five series rome he did manage to get a forest fire in ravenna oh my god somebody burned this uh, forest to a crisp we do see him uh, getting those uh, extra settlers coming up from rome and the lugdunum while he is uh, starting to improve his other tiles he did get the commercials out first and we do see him uh, getting quite a few merchants here uh, okay let's see oh, he is on 3.4 great merchant points a turn probably classical republic that's why he's getting the dot four yeah classical republic uh we do have him on the magnus internals he's uh, relatively far away from uh, every one of his allies so i'm pretty sure he's gonna be incentivized here to go for uh, more internals and the south is also gonna be opened up i do see another city to the west of rome uh, to the southeast so two cities here with uh, more cities to the south uh if he does uh, start to settle the south he's gonna get closer to spain and i gotta say actually uh, talking about spain over here uh he's not gonna get his uh, set bonuses usually spain uh is very happy when he has uh, next to him an opponent that does have a religion because he's also gonna get the religion three plus five is always nice on your units but in this, this particular scenario he's not gonna to get that uh, option of course uh, forex is a uh, pen brush and voice is going to get him uh, some extra culture some extra points of gold from each of these districts it's going to be quite uh, important is he getting pressured here by jerusalem wow michael did get jerusalem and it looks like um, that city cannot handle himself uh, he's uh, pressuring kume and uh, uh, it would have been amazing if uh, he would have uh, upped a few uh, swordsmen over here to go against the city of kume he would have taken that city down <laughs> there, there is a possibility that these uh, warriors would keep on pummeling the city of kume and uh, even if he's not gonna get um I would say yeah even if it's not gonna get uh, put under siege because of the lake it's uh, still gonna be dealt a lot of damage let's see boom boom oh my god he needs to buy a warrior now big paul coming up boys big paul coming up you know what it is it's kume you gonna fall yes no jerusalem too big kick double Oh my god. He can't even go and chop this, by the way. If he moves the builder on the 2 1, I'm pretty sure the warrior is gonna take it. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, really, bro? Man, Jerusalem over here. 
has a few archers coming against him he does have a builder improving his stats he's getting farms in the back line while he is uh, attacking the city of kume from afar forex here and that does need to buy a warrior really quickly uh they do have uh, 17 13 15 and 35 gold they should have enough uh, to get him a warrior if he doesn't he might lose that city i think he might lose that city with the warrior anyway so uh, really 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 problematic uh, we do have a couple of chopper exploding to 85 uh, there we go he just bought a warrior you do see the the damage is uh, totally different now but it's still gonna be some damage and with the third warrior coming on, on the front line there i might actually get uh, the city next turn uh, we do have uh, Kabachok with 15 science and 25 culture with that uh, 85 production he's gonna get uh, a lot of stuff done really quickly uh, putting more of these uh, settlers on the map two four six eight cities to go for while uh, he is going for the temenaki from his capital city not bad actually he's gonna get uh, those uh, three tiles with some extra science and some extra production not bad no but i guess it's not uh, good either it's not amazing either okay so let's see what kum is Oh my god, it's it. Oh my god, really, bro? This is the revenge of Jerusalem on the Roman encroachment. Man, he did something. He did something to annoy Jerusalem. Maybe, you know, it's, it's like he snatched a princess or something, you know, like in the movies. Uh, like in uh, what, what was it? What was it? There was uh, there was one, one of those stories with um, uh, the Greeks, right? <laughs> he stole it, man. Uh, wait, uh, Jerusalem too big and get double. All describe the same thing, right? I mean, you say that, but uh, I see people play, uh, putting in different votes. What can I say? <laughs> e -M -P -A. man what can i say forex here is gonna have unfortunately a problem uh jerusalem is gonna get his city he realized that city is gonna be doomed uh, you do see it's only 30 out of 20 uh, 200 uh, garrison health he's gonna get uh, i guess uh, 20 strength back but that's about it and uh, even though he's getting a few archers coming up from lupturum i do have to point uh, one in point uh, what uh, one really big uh, important part of information uh, the city of uh, Kume is gonna get raised to the ground the city states cannot actually acquire more cities they're just gonna raise them now uh, Pontius uh, Pilate getting his yeah yeah well it is what it is man it is what it is unfortunate man unfortunate we see it yet again how the city states are too strong Zenja Max when a city state nerf that's what i want to see when city state nerf you know like we, we need to check that out oh my god oh. cool man you have been wonderful to us but you're not gonna be anymore oh man jerusalem too big bro jerusalem too big too big Somebody should clip that, by the way. Somebody should clip that for uh, for for the game. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. <laughs> well, we do have uh, more cities coming up from Rome. The fact is, the fact is, and I gotta point it out. I gotta point it out. The lack of a classical unit was the problem here, not really the positioning of that city or the fact that he didn't have a warrior in it. It's the lack of a classical unit that put the city strength to 20, uh, to uh, 10 instead of 26. And that would have, just that would have allowed it to uh, remain alive. Of course, uh, we do have, uh, at least on the other side, a bit of uh, bonuses coming up from Forex over here. Ravenna is going to get his um, uh, bananas improved with some extra fertilities. Well, you know, it is what it is. We got commercials coming out also for him. Moksha uh, in that city center. He's getting more horses out. And I think Forex is mad. He's mad. He's out for blood over here. You see him. He's not even thinking clearly anymore. He's just going to take out Jerusalem as a whole. Well, that is a problem. Well, it is what it is, right? He doesn't want to have Jerusalem on his borders anymore. Julian Granda. Hello there, sir. Oregon Juice. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there, sir. Can't believe I walked away at exactly the worst time. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. He wants a refund. Yeah, he wants a refund. You know, it, it is what it is. Maybe he, you know, he's going to be better from an extra city center anyway so might as well take it the big thing that the big question that we need to ask ourselves is 
Is he going to manage to have a successful campaign against Jerusalem? Can you imagine Jerusalem just getting walls? <laughs> you know, <laughs> those horses just stand around the, the city strength. Oh my God. I can, I can imagine the horror right now. Anyway, we, we do need to see what's happening on the other side of the map. Trinda with um, a bit more science and culture. We do see him still on three cities. He's finally getting those settlers out. Uh, I'm actually quite curious. Where is he going to want to settle them? Okay, so one on the wheat tile there. He wants another one there on the island to the south southwest of Xochicalco. Now, he did put one on the river to the south. So, I guess uh, he's not going to allow um, another settler here from the... Oh, he is. He is. He's going to allow it on the two one. It's fine. <laughs> No fresh water, but still fine. Going for more commercial half investment. So he gets uh, the next one. I do see next turn. And we're going to see Marco Polo coming up here. And Aztec does have 67.1 um, points out of 75. He's going to get another commercial half investment next turn. And uh, get that uh, merchant. Very important to get all of the trade route ones from his uh, opponent here. We do have uh, Zulu with uh, horses uh, already in building an army to go against uh, Tushpa and Pasargarde, the cities of Persia, where he did manage to get to Umgumdum Lunlovu to the south of Bulawayo and uh, recruited two of these great generals. If he does manage to get the next... Oh, he got all four of them? Wow! No, Kree got one. Okay, Kree got one and that's and that's about it. So we, we got three on Zulu. He got Shun Tzu, so he put that uh, book in. He, he did uh, get uh, Burika and... Um, a trunk truck while uh, Creed did manage to get Hannibal Barca. Interesting. Wait a second. Oh, I see. He did get uh, an encampment actually earlier. So maybe he did put some uh, projects in. Uh, we do have uh, horses coming out from the Creed series, and I do see him two turns away from getting audience chamber. And yes, Jerusalem seems like an MVP here. Stopped or delayed Rome significantly. I do want to see what's going to happen with uh, this forest. Of course, uh, Ravenna getting another horse uh, this turn. We do need to see if. Um, uh, the extra fertility will get him that nice and juicy extra food and of course the extra uh, production i'm really curious what's going to happen here uh, we did have um, rome going for the uh, goddess of the hunt that's one of the pantheons that i didn't talk about uh, and yeah there we go we got the three threes going up there it looks like uh, jerusalem keeps on attacking to the units of rome and uh, of course you do see rome's uh, horses managing to stay alive here and well we'll see uh, what's going to happen uh, in the series of Rome, we do have multiple uh, deer tiles improved. Uh, that will be uh, three, three twos or three four twos. Uh, also, truffle tiles are going to become uh, two four five. Very important, by the way, uh, to have those uh, extra eels there. Uh, but only a few resources. It doesn't look like he's going to get that much of an advantage from um, getting that uh, pantheon. I'm actually uh, surprised over here. We didn't see uh, something different, but it is it, it is something uh, it is something. Anyway, uh, coming up in the southwest, we do have the mentor with uh, the fifth uh, city finally, Zaragoza to the west side. He's going to get a settler and uh, probably put it to the north. Uh, quite in, quite um, interesting as the placement. I wouldn't have thought uh, he's going to place Zaragoza before he's going to place um, a city next to that aluminium, aluminium tile. I uh, was uh, thinking about this uh, from the beginning of the game. Uh, does uh, have a decent amount of uh, chops over there and of course uh, a lot of good tiles at the beginning of the game. While uh, he is going to get mm, commercials anyway, so it, it kind of you know fit the bill. We do have him going for commercial hub investments, and of course, uh, he did get outsmarted here by Mark, by uh, Aztec. Uh, Trinda did manage to acquire Marco Polo, uh, granting himself a free builder, while Spain is going to get to choose um, Ip Van Dalan. That's going to give him an extra trade route capacity, and uh, I guess that's fine anyway. He's going to get to hard build his uh, trader. That's still fine. We do have also Japan starting to settle more cities to the south, getting his uh, temples up. Uh, 69 faith per 10 from uh, Michael with uh, 14 science and 32 culture. We do have him on uh, 69 production as well with the uh, Temple of Artemis in the capital city. He did manage... Uh, wait, that's not the capital. That's another city. That's, uh, I, I think, a second city. He did manage to also get Oracle from that city and he's plugging in Pingala. Uh, while he does have uh, Theater Square started up, uh, he will generate a lot of uh, great writer points really quickly 
4.6 writer points at turn at the moment. Uh, he's uh, gonna have uh, probably more writers than he can actually afford to um, uh, get the books in. Uh, he's gonna need a lot more of these uh, theaters to work with amphitheaters. Uh, we do have uh, now at the moment Zulu actually with more cities than uh, Persia. Uh, I do see both of them are actually starting to build up their armies and uh, we do see uh, Liang getting settled in Gumdundulovu for that extra uh, production on those uh, floodable terrain tiles. Uh, I'm a bit concerned that this attack from Bezdomi is a bit too early in the game. He would uh, really require um, a course to have a set advantage going against the units of uh, Persia. Yes, you can still do some uh, damage over here, taking out scouts, taking out archers, maybe you get the positioning on your enemy, maybe you get to force him to um, uh, make mistakes and so on and so forth. That still is an advantage, but most of the time you do want uh, to um, uh, take out his units uh, and uh, don't lose your own unit so you do need a lot of strength on uh, your army uh, i do see him of course uh, benefiting from uh, quite a few builders here uh, he did manage to get nobamba also on the east side finally got that uh, campus the plus four and he did get to 17 science and 38 culture while uh, we do have uh, gafnosh Gavkosh over here with uh, 18 science and 37 culture uh, he's um, as you can see getting his own builders and uh, did plug in Pingala in Hamatana uh, built quite a few of these uh, campuses so he gets the science and now uh, he's trying to go for uh, more from Susa and uh, the building up the horse count is uh, quite surprising I was expecting him to go uh, towards immortals rather than horses uh, but it is what it is the Immortals uh, do have that um, arranged attack and they do benefit from uh, quite a bit of strength. Well, it's been a while since we've seen anybody actually go for uh, Swordsman. Uh, mostly because of the tempo, the district discount is just not there. Okay, Aztec Four Cities. Uh, what happened here? The next one is uh, Irene of Athens on the Great Merchant screen. Uh, we do have uh, Maori just settling more. Oh my god, he's just look at Maori become a beast over here. Kabachok. He is exactly, you know, like in the movies over here, he's transforming his empire into a beast. Can you, can you imagine this? Uh, it's he, just like you've seen in the movie so um, you get like werewolf for example the transformation of werewolf starting to like get bigger muscles he's ripping his uh, clothes off with uh, the muscles um, getting bigger he's um, you know like everything everything over here is starting to uh, become uh, a bit too big for his own clothes we do have a uh, kabachok with 19 science 31 culture that, that, tiny tiny you know but when you see his city count and you see his production you know he's gonna explode like that's what i'm saying you know like we see it in uh, slow motion the transformation coming up over here maybe with some spikes on the back and stuff like that this is exactly what's going on here we do see his empire getting so many bonuses coming up from his land coming up from his food and generation coming up from his uh, city count and uh, we're gonna need to see him uh, transform this into something uh, awesome of course um, to the north he does have a creek quite close to him that he could go against uh, creek did manage to acquire a general he did not so um he's gonna need to work on that uh, we do have him with uh, i guess a heavy chariot that he did manage to acquire from uh, that uh, meteor site and that's about it uh go not hyena yeah well, you know i'm actually curious why did they choose this name in particular not hyena they they don't like the what, what they don't what don't they like about hyenas uh, because they're like pack animals because they laugh because like w w what's the problem with hyenas because they like to scavenge well, does anybody know does anybody know what the uh, not hyena uh... Anyway, I guess uh, that's one answer that we're, we're not gonna find this. Uh, we're not gonna find it now. 
we do have, uh, by the way, quite a few stats coming up from Japan. Unfortunately, he's starting to lose uh, gold on minus 5, and, but he does have a 93 faith attain. With uh, Mahabori Temple coming up from uh, Tokyo, he's going to get extra GCC towards that uh, theater square. And at the same time, he's uh, going to get that nice and juicy um, ability to get the two um, apostles and... Um, evangelize his uh, religion he's gonna get uh, another two beliefs to work with and uh, I think he still has the only religion in the game uh, it is what it is we, I'm actually curious if anybody is uh, uh, gonna go for something like uh, Stonehenge over here to get their own religion and we do need to see um, what kind of um, bonuses they're gonna try to get for the next era uh, Hululu one hour hello there sir and uh, welcome Thank you so much for the follow. I do have to point out, um, of course, they did uh, acquire quite a few points in the first era, so uh, it is going to be a relative challenge to uh, see what uh, they're going to go for the next one. It's uh, As you can see over here, we do have uh, most of them uh, right now with the lower than um, normal age points. Uh, the threshold for normal age did not get achieved, uh, except Kabacho. Kabacho here is probably going to stay in a golden anyway. We do have him uh, putting a lot of uh, harbors out. He did finish at Temenaki. He's getting some extra science. Uh, well, he does already have 34 population. Man, guys, guys. He's, all, he's almost double the population count of his uh, opponent here. Uh, Alex is on 22 pop. Uh, Kabachok on 35. Not to mention Alex is 5 cities. Kabachok is 9 cities. Wait, 9 cities? Are you for real, bro? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 cities? And he's gonna go for the 10th? He's even gonna settle the Dead Sea. Oh my god. Man, we got quite a few warriors uh, coming up in the north. I think uh, these are actually defensive units, not actually offensive ones. And I'm pretty sure um, uh, Kree over here is worried about the west, the Zulu, as well as the south, uh, Maori. Um, now I do have to point out, Maori does have the Toas, but as you can see, it's uh, gonna be a bit awkward to work them. Uh, if he wants to get uh, them uh, worked up and uh, do their, uh, to their maximum effectiveness, uh, he should put them in the water and get them uh, towards Miki Sivwachik over here. Maybe take out uh, Makwa Sakahikan. Uh, that would actually be a death blow to uh, Kree. I'm pretty sure Ax Alex is gonna have a hard time defending against those, even with Without the general, those doors are still amazing. Uh, the, the fact that uh, Kabachok did choose to go wider as an empire than taller, and the fact that uh, he didn't get a general, I'm pretty sure um, it tells us what uh, he wants to do here. He's not gonna be that uh, offensive until he's gonna be... Um, confident enough that he's gonna overwhelm his opponent's defenses. Uh, did Kabachok go ancestral? Uh, no. He went the audience chamber. He just likes audience chamber. He, I mean, to be fair, he got uh, his cities quite fast. So, ancestral hall that just didn't make that much sense. Uh, we do have uh, forty. Uh, wait, uh, so from the left side we got um, Gaf no, Gaf Kosh Gaf Kosh coming up with uh, twenty eight and forty four and twenty five gold per ten. Demento is on forty. We got Alex on twenty one, and uh, Michael is losing three gold at ten. Uh, Kabachok on forty five gold at ten. Trinda is gonna be on twenty. We got uh, Bogini on seven and Forex on twenty three. But look at the production started up from Kabachok. One hundred forty five production with one hundred thirty five food. Yes, he doesn't have an army, but he does, a, uh, he does have a lot of harbors coming out. I'm pretty sure uh, the harbors will probably get uh, those shipyards in at some point, and that is going to be quite uh, important for him to use. Uh, units will be removed if the player cannot afford to maintain them. Yes, that is true, Psycho Mind. But I have to point out, uh, units get removed when, you're, uh, when you don't have any more... Um, gold in the bank nor and you are uh, doing negative gold at the same time so uh, you do have to go really really negative over there uh, also blc good evening sir i just saw the messages hello there hello there uh, japan is on negative gold indeed and what happens when gold drops to zero and he's on negative gold but then yes he is um He's gonna need to get help from his allies, and he's also gonna need to. Uh, Whoa! We got Forex managing to get that city of Jerusalem. He got his revenge. Oh, Forex. Okay, sorry about that. I got uh, I got distracted. Now, 
in the negative gold but it, it, it's very unlikely that you're gonna get, not get the gold from your allies you can also pillage your opponent's tiles if you actually you know like really really uh, want to do something and most of the time the players that do go for negative gold to have uh, some sacrifices done um, because of that um, they're losing the gold so like you're gonna see some of them uh, make a bigger army some of them go for a very fast science or um, a very fast uh, culture it, it kind of depends but uh, they only do that when they're in uh, safe locations they, they don't do that on the front line uh, also uh, let's see <laughs> uh, blc is also saying uh, but if they couldn't what is the gameplay mechanic which comes into uh, play uh, yeah so units get deleted of, uh, and also amenities you start losing amenities when it's uh, when you don't have gold to pay your uh, uh, citizens settler steel where 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 i didn't see a settler steel but let's see let's just check it out real quickly where did you see it japan 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 oh he did it okay so japan did get his uh, settler over here it's escorted by uh, horses if you're talking about this one rome is uh, trying to pressure him not to settle anymore towards the west side but that's about it he didn't actually uh, steal it or did it commander king is saying yes and that actually confuses me did he actually steal a settler from rome wait a second no i don't i don't think it he would have already settled over here somewhere oh okay almost man don't do that to me bro don't do that to me you know like my heart jumps over there and then i'm thinking to myself like i didn't catch that oh my god no i didn't catch that on camera it's unbelievable how can i do this you know like it's it's bad bro it's bad uh let's see on um rome we do have him with uh, quite a few builders i do see uh, the traders uh, he's putting more commercials to the west side he did get uh, to replace the city of uh, kume put uh, did uh, get put on the same tile he does have uh, more another city to put over the uh, another two cities actually to the west of uh, arpinum and uh, i do see pingala establishing in lugdunum and uh, still he needs to get a lot bigger over here and i'm pretty sure he's gonna need the science to go with uh, that nice and juicy uh, commercial uh, we do have forex on 18 science only on uh, 38 culture and i do see him uh, building up quite a few campuses uh, he's gonna have next to him uh, japan with 31 and he does also have uh, spain to the southwest with 45 and 42 uh, he's actually i gotta say he's in a little bit of trouble if you uh, take into account that uh, lack of science now the fact that he needed to build an army the fact that he lost the city over here it put him down quite a bit but he did get jerusalem with that army so that's a that's a good uh, return i guess on the army build up uh, we do need to see also um, uh, aztec getting bigger he did manage to settle another continent uh, no he he just got one city on the white continent to the north while he is probably going to need to get uh, another city over here on the west side he is going to need to acquire as many of those uh, amenities as he possibly can get and from what i can see going ancestral hall does allow him to get those uh, builders worked up uh, really quickly we do need to see what he's gonna do with them with the cities and of course if he's gonna go for something like uh, there we go we got hanging gardens coming up from Xochicalco we got um, uh, pyramids coming up from Teotihuacan I, I do notice um, we got several more turns at the, the medieval era and I'm pretty sure he wants to nail that golden age uh, he's um at the moment on uh, 51 out of 59 he does need eight more points trying to go from colosseum from tayo uh, and of course uh, we do see that colosseum will um, uh, give bonuses to at least five cities uh, maybe a sixth one to the north it, it kind of depends if he's going to settle over there non-fresh and aqueducted now hanging gardens is also going to give him the points and i didn't see actually anyone else go for uh, colosseum so maybe he is going to get it uh, we do have uh, Japan trying to go for more amphitheaters. Now he's actually putting entertainment complex. It's too late. Uh, and I'm actually a bit surprised he stopped building Mahabodhi Temple, but it is what it is. Uh, we do have uh, japan here uh, starting to acquire a decent amount of uh, points 5.7 great writer points a turn that tells me that he didn't actually uh, get the pingala double and he's going to need to do that if he wants to acquire all of the ones that he needs uh, shizuoka is going to get the campus here a plus uh, two next to the coast we do have nagoya with uh, more monuments and a possible uh, plus uh, four campus to the southeast uh, next to those mountains uh, he could also go against lahore unfortunately lahore did build walls 
and that's gonna be a relative hard city to go against. We do have uh, more army being built up from uh, Zulu while he's uh, getting a few settlers uh, to the north. He's getting his uh, barracks gone, uh, done. Uh, he, remember, he is uh, going to need to defend against the east as well as the west. And I do see him uh, improving quite a few of his uh, tiles. Uh, I do like that he keeps on expanding here with another three settlers coming out from his cities. Uh, the fact that he's getting his uh, barracks in his uh, Ikan does, does allow him to get more stats up. Uh, you do see um, Bogini is on 35 cents with 47 culture. Only 5 gold a turn though, but he does have 100 production, 104 production. And that's one point I want to make. Uh, oh, he just dropped. Wait a second, he dropped to a 95, bro. Get back on the horse, bro. Bogini, where, what are you doing, man? Get your production up. We do have um, Persia on 105 production, Demento on 115. Uh, looks like uh, somehow Bogini still goes down in production. Oh, he just chopped a tile and lost a lot of it. Another tile lost and he's gonna go down a little. Oh, okay, never mind. He got 91. Okay, okay. Um, we do have a Demento on 114 production, Alex 91, we got uh, also Michael on 89, and then we do see Kabachok with 167, oh my god, 50% more than uh, everybody else, okay, it is what it is, uh, Trinda on 124 as well, uh, Bogini on uh, 100, finally back on 100, and Forex is 108, even if he lost those cities, he's gonna put new ones, and he did manage to get back up in the production screen. More traders coming up from him. He didn't manage to acquire a good merchant. Uh, looking at what's going on here, uh, it looks like uh, Hypatia also got uh, recruited by Spain. Uh, he's going to get a free library and then uh, all of his libraries will give him uh, one point of science. Uh, in the animal screen, we do have uh, Coupe uh, acquiring most of them. He got that guy with Dulius, Themistocles, uh, and um, uh, Artemisia. And Hanu the Navigator, actually. Uh, I'm really curious if Maori is gonna try to go for encampments. I would actually see this happening, but I guess no. This is just stats. Oh my god, he's just gonna overwhelm his opponent with stats. What is happening here? Alex, Alex, pre I like the pre builds, I like the initiative. I, I don't know if this is an attacking force or a defensive force. Alex is only on 28 science and 46 culture, while, uh, of course, Kapacho here is already on 39 and 54. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Can you imagine he's getting his Mares done? He's gonna get 10 pop in his capital city. He's gonna get a relatively good campus over there as well, but he could go for um, encampments. Uh, getting more of these uh, campuses is gonna be a thing here. Another plus three coming up from uh, Wakera Warewa. Uh, we do have uh, the. Ma oh my god, bro. Oh my god. This is one of those times you, you need to get. Uh, how to say? The, the breathing correctly done, you know? Like, th this is when exactly what you wanna have is given to you with the modders can you can you imagine what's gonna happen next time with all of these tiles guys oh my oh my god uh can we do an aztec lux check uh yes we can really quickly but uh in the one minute i don't want to come back on that city uh let's see he's uh bam 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 colosseum come on bro like get the colosseum what are you doing bro bro get colosseum yeah, we do have him with, uh, let's see, Gypsum, I see Dice, that's plus two. Uh, first, that's plus three. Why is he not building the Colosseum? Uh, and the tiles are gonna be, wait, that's on another continent. What's the fourth one from this continent? Uh, 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 silver, uh, well, that's not gonna happen. Not so he has plus three. Does he have a unit somewhere that I could click on? No. Oh my god, no army to speak of? This is unspeakable. Aztec. He's on th oh 38 man. This is the one of the greediest way of uh, developing your empire. Anyway, guys, guys, this is one of those moments, you know, when you're little and your your parents are putting your hands on your eyes. This is one of the moments. 
you gotta protect your eyes because the shininess of Nengana Huai might actually damage your vision. You have to be really careful. Even it's uh, that's a bit sad amount of yes, yes. Uh, Eagle Warrior upper left. Oh my god, look at this. Look at those tiles, man. Oh my god, the extra culture just booming. He just went up 46 science 76 culture. He's gonna get some more of those. He's gonna get them um, everywhere. He got them in the captain as well. Oh my god, look beautiful. This, this is just beautiful. This is beautiful. Just wow. He's gonna get one in Capiti as well. He is uh, starting to improve his iron tiles. I don't see him actually benefiting from a uh, standing army. And uh, somebody was saying about the uh, Eagle Warrior Northeast. Oh, Northwest actually. Okay, Eagle Warrior. It's He does have plus four luxury attack bonus. So maybe he settled on something or we didn't check it. Rice tile. Hmm. Yeah, I think he got something that we didn't. Uh, oh, oh, underneath? No, that's uh, that's not underneath. I don't see anything on the coast, so I'm actually curious what's the plus four of. Tenochtitlan, you're saying? Uh, he has a gypsum and the dice tile, right? So gypsum dice tiles and I believe the third one was uh, four tiles, so three. Anyway, it's still plus four. It's still it's still good adjacency. Uh, merchant log, Minka Pass. Hello there, sir. I don't think they actually got to the merchant logs yet, but he did manage to get quite a few of these traders, so that's that's still very good. Also, hello there, sir uh, Minkapas. Hello there, Canon Meat. Good evening, good evening. Uh, actually, it's a good day, right? It's still early in the day. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't I can't even imagine that I'm streaming during the day. Okay, so let's see in the east side here, we do have the, uh, uh, some more of those uh, Maori Mares. He's getting a 51 science, 81 culture. He did manage to uh, plug in Pingala somewhere in uh, Wanganui, while uh, Engano Huaya is going to get uh, Moksha. He's also putting down a campus. That's only going to be a plus uh, one, but still he's going to get um, uh, the library and the uh, university in it as soon as possible. Uh, did manage to get some extra science also from these uh, marsh tiles. While uh, you do see uh, to the north, uh, Kree is uh, having quite a bit of an army here. Maybe we might see some kind of men at arms push coming up from Alex. Uh, we do see him military tactics nectar, mercenaries in two thirds. So we might see a strong push coming out against Maori, even if uh, Maori does benefit from a lot of production. Oh my god, 200 production, a decent amount of science. If he is not ready with the pre builds at the correct moment in time, he might not get to defend all of his cities. Yes, he might only lose one or two cities but that, that still puts him back uh, quite a long way and uh, he needs to be careful mm, he's uh, a bit too greedy over here uh, even though i do like uh, what he's doing i do like um, how he planned this out i do believe um, a little bit more uh, attention coming up on the pre builds would have been um, a very very good to have at least uh, three more build, uh, three more warriors to the north would have probably um, uh, defended him properly uh, he's still gonna have the information about that attack relatively early so he does uh, he might actually have the opportunity to build up uh, what he needs to build up bogini did manage to get the first night out that's uh, zulu and we do see he's not actually going to choose to go against uh, Persia with uh, horses. He's actually going to go with knights. Uh, we do see him uh, pre-building a lot of them. Uh, a lot of these heavy chariots are coming out from his cities. They do benefit from a lot of gold. 120 gold on Kabachok with 93 on Tridra. Uh, we do have Forex on, also on 43. And of course, uh, they're going to give it to uh, Bogini. If he does manage to get... Um, mercenaries and i think he actually should have mercenaries he's on 54 uh, culture with 50 science he should have mercenaries he's starting to up his knights let me actually take a look if i have yeah okay so he does have uh, the mercenaries uh, you do have to do, uh, take into account whenever you're gonna up um, upgrade i should say or pro yeah upgrade um of course you're gonna pay the double the amount you're gonna pay normally 
So it's 144 this uh, night to uh, establish, but still that's uh, enough gold. They do uh, make that gold uh, more than that gold per turn, and uh, they will get a um, very good advantage going against his opponents. You do see the Knight of Bogini does deal uh, 70 against the Horse of Purge of uh, 48. Uh, we do have, of course, um, a need for a lot more units coming up over here while uh, uh, Gapkosh is uh, trying to get uh, his immortals up on the front line and at the same time uh, some heavy chariot pre-builds for knights. I'm not so certain he's gonna have uh, strong enough units to defend against this if, of course, Zulu will manage to get some... Um, um, more units on the front line that's that's the problem at the moment the fact that he's not benefiting from a lot of units if you would uh, focus his efforts onto one side i think he can break it but he, at the moment he's uh, doing east uh, defenses as well as west defenses and he's not really making his mind up like he has heavy chariot cores all over the place i would have preferred to see like a set amount of uh, attack bonus and uh, go against an opponent then you handle the other side and uh, see what uh, what happens there which city state did Aztec Zeus? Uh, let me actually take a look. I, uh, that shouldn't work though. That shouldn't work on uh, Aztec. Uh, I do see Trinda on Caguana, and Caguana does have nothing. It's a really big nothing. Uh, that uh, the extra lux only works on, uh, the lux bonus on uh, Aztec only works if you improve it as far as I know it doesn't work if uh, anybody else gives it to you or uh, you, you get it from a city state so there, is, there must be a resource somewhere underneath a district that uh, but it couldn't actually be uh, underneath a city center maybe what's this 3-1 tile maybe it's a no it's a wheat tile maybe he settled on a honey tile or something uh, but he doesn't have honey uh, this was iron, I believe. That's uh, extra science coming up. That's not a T-tile. There must be something that we're missing here. I don't know why he's not getting Colosseum. Like, why is he giving up on Colosseum? Is somebody else building it? Mm. I cannot search Lux Anthon Mayhem. Hello there, sir. Good evening. Uh, the um, better spectator mode does not allow uh, the search function to work, unfortunately. Uh, it did create uh, quite a few bugs if it did allow it. Uh, um, it came hand in hand with the ability of a player to move you uh, of an uh, observer to actually move units. It was very scary, actually. We got one more turn until the next turn in the medieval era. We do need to see if uh, they do manage to get their um, bonus points going. I will see um, Persia is managing to get to the threshold of 50. Demento is 51-51. Alex is 48-51. He needs three more and he needs it right meow. Uh, we do have him uh, getting the encampments and uh, but he will probably try to get a Suze on a city state here or maybe a levy. We got Michael 64-55. He did get his two, four, six, eight cities at the count. That's Quite nice. Kabachok uh, coming up with 64 out of 55. We do have uh, Bogini uh, on uh, 60-59. He got his and Forex is going to be 53-53. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, there we go. Bogini is uh, upgrading more of these uh, night cores. Still is not actually pressuring Persia strong enough. And we will see uh, probably Persia get a few uh, pikemen over there on the defense. He knows uh, he's in trouble. Uh, we might actually see uh, repositioning of the Zulu units to go against uh, Kree here. Uh, Kree is uh, trying to get a few of his own spearmen and expanding some more on the east side. But still he doesn't have uh, the necessary science and the culture to keep up with his opponents. Uh, especially Maori. Maori uh, getting a lot of those mares done. Uh, he's getting uh, 77 science and uh, 102 culture we might actually see him switch from a pen brush and voice to a free inquiry next turn and uh, if we're gonna see that happening that's gonna be extremely valuable for him i do think it's actually much better to go for a pen brush and voice because uh, later on in the game you do want to get fascism uh, quite um, quite early and uh, uh, looking at the count of uh, campuses that he's getting out of his cities he's, uh, he should have a decent amount of science anyway so I don't think it's that necessary if he does want to get uh, free inquiry it is only to go for the cuirassiers uh, quite early in the game and try to um, get that as an attack against your opponent which will probably 
break Cree over here. Cuirassier course with uh, bombards will break Cree. Okay, so we got uh, the next turn, uh, the next um, Noral Golden Age, the next age started, and we do see Alex didn't manage to get to the Golden Age, he's the only one in the game that couldn't. Uh, we do have uh, Persia, we got Philip II, we got uh, Japan coming up uh, with a Golden, uh, Kabachok, Trinda, Bogini, and Forex all with a Golden Age. We're gonna need to wait a little bit for them to get their points going, and I do want to take a look at uh, what's going on here. Sp Spain did manage to get uh, encampments down, and it does look like he's uh, quite worried about uh, Rome's. Um, uh, cities to the north. Uh, Rome doesn't really have a standing army, but I guess uh, it's still a good practice to uh, get the defense going in time. A Trojan man, uh, good evening sir, his non-freshwater city has four food, is that a lux? Uh, non-freshwater city, uh, you mean this one? Istapaka Luca? That is a rice tile sir, that is a rice tile. Hey, thank you so much for the tier one sub, your share bread. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. We do have uh, industrial zones coming off from uh, Teayo. Uh, I'm still very, mu very much surprised that he's uh, not finishing up that uh, Colosseum. I'm quite curious if uh, anybody else from his team is going to want to go for Colosseum, uh, Colosseum even though I do see uh, Kabachok is going to go entertainment complex here. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's uh, the correct uh, decision. Uh, I would have uh, preferred to have uh, Aztec getting big here. Uh, maybe Rome would have wanted one, but it, it's not going to have the time. He is uh, going to need to play the catch-up game after he lost the city there. Uh, and of course, uh, Forex is on 50 science and 59 culture. Did manage to get some back, but the mentor is on 82 and 59. So you can see he's uh, not that close. Uh, the mentor is, by the way, in a pen bash and voice, not even in a free inquiry. So it could have been worse. I do have to vote in the next World Congress and really quickly I need to get to the bathroom. Woo! Yeah, I need to get to the bathroom here. Uh, let me see, I, I think I'm first here, so let me go for uh, Eastern, Eastern, okay. And then, hello there, sir. <laughs> go for A into uh, Eastern, me, me. Yeah, that is with uh, fertility rights indeed. Just gonna wait over here for uh, Ginger. 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 Ginger! Hello! Hello! Ginger! I really hope you're saying yes. Hello? Okay. Okay. One minute, guys. One minute.
Ha! Managed to get uh, one juice also. Uh, Lena on a Russian uh, female name. Uh, what? Ginger is lady. Oh, oh, I see. Ginger is lady. I, uh, isn't that in, uh, how to say, uh, in uh, English, ginger isn't um, um, red haired, but it, like, it works on uh, males and females as well? So wait, is Ginger actually a lady? Wait, did I? I, I don't know. Yeah, Ginger is not gendered in English. That's what I, uh, I was uh, aware of also. Did I make a mistake here? Wait. Oh my God, I'm sorry about this. No, it's not a uh, it's not an in a female name in English. Ginger is well, I guess you can you can call someone ginger, but so is chocolate. So you know. Okay. Oh wait, she's actually female. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. How should I know? Okay, I now I know. Now I know. I hope she accepts my apologies. Okay, so uh, coming back on the game here, we do have a uh, pen brush and voice uh, coming up for um, uh, Gafkosh. Uh, we do have him with uh, 55 cents and 56 uh, culture. I do see a hundred for um, also production coming up on him. We got Demento with a pen brush and voice uh, golden age, 83 cents and 64 culture, 75 uh, gold at 10. And you do see his. Um, uh, building up an army, uh, getting a few more heavy chariots to the north, but I can't really say this is a concentrated move to get an attack done against the um, Forex. Uh, we do have uh, Alex also with a 45 uh, science and uh, 37 culture quite behind his uh, opponents over here uh, is getting under attack by uh, Zulu and you do see uh, Zulu with uh, one single night core is dealing a significant damage against the city of Mr. Uh, Alex did manage to upgrade a few men at arms there and the uh, pikemen and I, I do uh, notice, of course, the pikemen will be sufficient enough to defend against the night cores. It's just a matter of how many night cores can uh, come uh, from uh, the lands of Bogini. And uh, they, I guess it's a matter of uh, the timings over here. We might actually see a few problems uh, because Bogini didn't uh, get his attack uh, at the correct moment in time with enough units. Uh, we do need to see also if uh, there's going to be a follow-up attack from Maori from the south. Was expecting him to go over here on it, but it looks like uh, he's just going to keep on simming. Uh, Kabachok, uh, oh my god, he did switch to free inquiry. Um, we got uh, Japan with a monumentality golden age on uh, 71 science and 97 culture, uh, 138 uh, production as well. Uh, we do have him with uh, amphitheater coming up from Tokyo. He did finish Colosseum. Oh my god, he lost. So you can see what kind of damage they have because Aztec did not finish that Colosseum. Uh, that is so unfortunate. He gave Colosseum to Japan because he didn't keep on building it. That is unfortunate. Of course, um, we do have have 174 faith uh, turn for uh, Japan and we do see uh, what's going on wait uh, on the Congress vote if you let the timer expire it to vote annoying you'd never influence the vote uh, it votes randomly uh, in the Congress and uh, usually it does vote yes uh, it, uh, like a hundred percent it votes yes so her name Lena on YouTube Lena again okay let me actually follow her on YouTube that's uh, the least that I can do if you guys don't know Lena, you must uh, follow Lena. G follow Lena right now. I really hope uh, she accepts my apologies. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we do have a couple of with 178 science and 87 culture. Uh, take a look at this. We do have a uh, free inquiry golden age for him with uh, more theater squares coming out. I do see uh, Mari coming up from Wakara Warewa and um, 
uh, library coming up from Opango. Uh, Kawia is going to have a holy set uh, next to the Dead Sea. That's going to be a plus four. And I, of course, uh, that is uh, going to be actually interesting. Why is he building a holy site next to Spain? Bro, Kabachok, are you for real? I, I guess he is aware that he's going to have a lot more science than Spain. So maybe he doesn't care about that plus five. That, 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 that's still dangerous. Um, we do need to see... Um, what kind of buildings is he going to go for next? Foreign Ministry coming out from his capital city. Uh, he is uh, generating a decent, uh, more than decent amount of gold with uh, 200 gold a turn uh, coming out from um, his cities. We will probably need to see him uh, go for mass production for his um, there we go mass production next turn for his uh, shipyards and then he's gonna explode in the um, uh, production screen 243 production at the moment for Kambachok. Uh, Trinda with uh, 83 science and 84 culture, uh, 195 um, uh, gold per turn. And we do have him on 161 uh, production as well. Uh, we do see him uh, getting a bit more uh, commercials and i do see industrial zones also being placed here uh he is starting to acquire more of these amenities on the west side he's gonna get close to the salt mines uh to the west of uh, quicksotla so quicksotla uh, we do need to see him also settle the um, uh, green continent to the west side and uh, i do see he has already three cities on uh, the white continent uh didn't actually put a cities in the placement that he could get uh, easy pickings for um, amenities he has an olive tile three tiles away he has a horse tile uh, oh sorry a tea tile uh, to the east of uh, luca uh, west side but he is also quite close to um, uh, persia that's gonna put him in a little bit of danger not a lot because there is a uh, zulu over there uh, pick, uh, you know picking up the snack and uh, let's see is anything happening anymore here no uh, we do have a big line of pikemen uh, to the west of uh, Cree and defending his cities uh, Zulu did manage to pressure a little bit uh, Cree I do like uh, the fact that he is uh, forcing Cree to build up a defense and um, of course Cree was uh, on the back foot uh, for quite some time now uh, playing that catch-up game um, unfortunately he didn't manage to get a lot of stats up 55 science and 43 culture 117 production is still uh, quite good and uh, he did um, Oh no, he didn't manage to improve all of his tiles. He still has one of the sheep tiles that he could uh, improve for Mickey Sieve watching. And we do have him uh, selling more cities to the northeast. That's uh, actually, again, good in my book. Unfortunately, uh, we, to the south, uh, Kabachok is going to be very, very big on this side. And he is uh, going to pressure him uh, quite a bit in the next part of the game. We do have uh, Trinda with, uh, sorry, Foldex with 63 science and 72 uh, culture uh, on uh, 60. Wait, I talked about uh, Kree more than I talked about uh, Zulu. Let me actually uh, come back on this. Bogini uh, did get, um, or Bezdomi did actually get um, Arboris going from his cities. He's going to get Morikandas from the new cities. And uh, if he did build an army on the west side as well as the east side. He did arrive at, uh, let me actually take out his, uh, take a look at his city count. He's on 11 cities. Uh, as you can see over here uh, to the west and to the east he's gonna have a, a lot of cities going and that will allow him to get a lot of districts and stats alongside uh, that population we do need to see if he's gonna be managing to uh, overtake uh, both uh, Cyrus stats and the pound maker it looks like he's doing it at the moment especially putting the, uh, the um, uh, fear of demise over here on both of them uh, looks like Forex on 62 Science and 72 Culture, uh, 60 Gold at 10, 157 uh, Production uh, coming up on uh, Rome. And we do have Rome on 2, 4, 6, 8 cities and I do see him uh, getting some more uh, to the south side. He is realizing that Spain might actually build an army against him. Uh, he uh, didn't actually start to build a lot of encampments, but at least he has one and now he's working on his um, uh, science count. You can see he's uh, still quite behind the Mento. Well, you know, maybe he's going to catch up. Maybe he's gonna catch up uh, the mentor here did stop a little while to um, uh, defend uh, to um up his cities upgrade his cities and we do need to see if uh, that's actually gonna be good for him i was expecting a few more cities than uh, we see over here and i do like the fact that um, japan settled on the west side so they can uh, trade with each other on the water that's gonna be a lot of uh, gold generated uh, between these cities between madrid and uh, yokohama while of course Japan is selling on Mount Rima is going to give him a bit more science, a tiny bit more science and a, a bit more faith, uh, but the era score point uh, is going to be valuable. Um, is the coupe is the same guy as you cast with someone or a different uh, person? Uh, it's a different person, Kabachoka. 
Kaceshka. You're, you're thinking about Kaceshka. So in the later stages of the game, we do have um, one team that is more pre that is prepared with a lot of cities, and I'm pretty sure uh, the mid to late game is going to be very strong um, on their side. Uh, we do also see a big difference when it comes to the um, science uh, between the two teams. Not Hyena is uh, under 100 science, while we do have uh, Capacho and Tringa over 100 science from um, THT. Although uh, Rome is lagging behind on 55, I'm pretty sure with uh, his amount of cities and the fact that he's uh, starting to put. Uh, quite a few campuses on uh, he's gonna start acquiring those uh, science points he doesn't have even libraries inside of his cities it's gonna take a while but he's uh, he's gonna jump up uh, we do need to see if uh, Demento and uh, Hojo Tokimon are gonna get as big as uh, Aztec and um, uh, Maori, uh, they are uh, basically the counterparts and we do have uh, I, I do really like by the way the sim of japan uh he's gonna get mahabori temple in four from tokyo he did manage to snatch that uh, colosseum away from aztec uh, quite an important feat while he's gonna get a padana so it does look like from what i can see over here on japan's land i do see him uh, going as uh, fast as he possibly can uh towards the culture victory even though that's uh, quite far away from him uh, he's still uh, trying to acquire as uh, much um, tourism as possible a 41 tourism turn for michael he's gonna get uh, the machu picchu in fukuoka he is gonna get a padana in kyoto for extra two slots and um, uh, dharma Habori temple is also gonna give him some more tourism um hello pm quizard 19 thank you so much for the follow also we got the bot jonathan good evening sir bot jonathan hello there and welcome thank you so much for the follow he needs more cities too uh wait who uh, japan or uh, rome uh, i don't believe um, both of them actually need more cities but uh, at the same time i would uh, think uh, japan over here would um uh, how to say would take uh, Lahore uh, to the south uh, we were talking about this for some time now I would also believe he should do a few projects to get all of those uh, great writer points uh, great uh, sorry uh, the first great musician I would say the first great musician because uh, having a padana would give you a total of three slots that you can use for early music and it's very important to get that early music uh, you also have to take into account on the opposing side we do have uh, Kawachok's uh, coupe that will get a lot of culture also Trinda could uh, actually switch all of his um, production towards uh, theater squares. That would be uh, quite important for him to put up the defense. But anyway, in the meantime, we do have a lot of Eagle Warriors coming out of the cities of uh, Trinda. And... Um, I do have to point out the uh, Aztec over here does get uh, more production towards building of uh, melee units. You do have the 50% production towards me land melee units. Uh, going for something like uh, infantry could be extremely powerful, especially against uh, Persia. While Persia's army is um, occupied in the north to deal with uh, Zulu, I'm pretty sure Aztec with uh, his extra damage, uh, Lux damage and... Um, is that technology might actually uh, breach the defenses of uh, Persia in the south. The uh, city of Tarsus does have a two-tile choke uh, towards the city of Susa, and I'm pretty sure it can be breached. Nine towns for Japan that can be quickly full everywhere. Asticos, a louder, sir. Oh my god, welcome, welcome. Uh, what Civ Sis? It's basically the. Um, um, so Civ Sis uh, means a civilization, commonwealth of independent states. It's uh, basically the former Civ Ras. But they wanted to change their name into CIS. And uh, we do have here uh, two of their big teams. It's the um, uh, second and the third team in the rankings uh, going against each other. They have a good chance of uh, actually getting into the um, uh, qualifiers in the next uh, CWC. Uh, THD on the right side, Kabachok, Trinda, Bo uh, Bezdomi and Forex uh, fighting against... Um, Gafkosh, Gafkosh with uh, Demento, Alex and uh, Michael. How are you doing, Asticos? If you guys don't know Asticos, you should know him. A very, very, very good player coming up from uh, the Civil Fire community. Uh, amazing, by the way, uh, in real life as well. Uh, he really likes to bring big brain uh, everything on uh, Civ 6. And um, I do really enjoy the fact that he's um, uh, getting different strategies going. He's going out of the meta. He's creating the meta, not going with the meta. Very nice, by the way. Very nice. 
Um, we do see quite a few Eagle Warriors uh, land units coming off from uh, Aztec. I'm actually curious where is he going to want to send them or is he just going to use them for uh, extra metis in the series with uh, the Retinus card. Uh, of course, uh, reti uh, I think reti uh, wait, Retainers, is it Retainers? I think it's Retainers actually. Uh, the one that gives you an extra meta for series with a garrison unit since he is building them quite fast. I might use them in the later stages. He's just going to build them from each of his series, uh, one turning them and putting them uh, in uh, the series centers him more that free amenity in there we do have uh, Kabachok also uh, getting a lot of traders between his cities. It still didn't get a standing army to go for. And I do notice uh, he's getting a theater square in uh, Wanganui. Uh, anyway, more Mares coming up from his uh, cities is going to be great. Uh, that extra culture is going to help him uh, get uh, to a higher point uh, next time. Uh, I want to say in the next part of the game. I was still uh, expecting him to honestly go towards... Uh, uh, ben Passion Voice Golden Age instead of Free Inquiry. Yes, I know he's getting 246 signs. He might actually uh, come up with uh, tanks. He does have the opportunity to go into sterilization and then Quenastiers and then bank his opponent with a lot more production. But I gotta say, usually um, Maori is not that incentivized to go towards a lot of mines. He does have quite a few of them. He can work without it because he does have, um, as you can see over here, a lot of production coming up from his. Um, uh, tiles in any case uh, uh, and uh, of course uh, trying to pressure from an earlier stage on Kree might have been a bit more important on this side on, on the whole of the game they do benefit from a lot of gold they have a lot of production they can uh, force their opponents to spend more gold putting more pressure on their economy which will uh, of course um, uh, create an unbalance over here uh, your monasticism in Rome was amazing. Yeah, there we go. There, exactly. This is that Asticos, you know. This is that Asticos. Monastic, Monasticos, <laughs> as uh, chat likes to call you, man. You're developing quite a, <laughs> how to say, uh, uh, quite a, a name over here for yourself. We got uh, foreign ministry coming up from Rome in two turns. It uh, looks like uh, greenery from Lugtunum. Uh, armory coming up in Ravenna. Uh, he does need to build an army uh, to defend or uh, possibly attack into Spain here. And uh, while the Mento did manage to get a few units towards the north, he did he and got a few defenses, didn't actually follow that up. Uh, he's uh, more concerned about uh, keeping up his advantage in the stat screen against his opponent, uh, Rome, rather than anything else. And I gotta point out, I was expecting a few more of these uh, missions, especially with a double continent split coming up on... Um, uh, on Spain over here, uh, it, it would have been uh, quite important, very important for Spain to get a lot of those uh, missions going, mostly because of the um, um, bonuses in science that you're gonna get from the next uh, era, uh, from the ne for uh, sorry from enlightenment. I got uh, distracted there. I was thinking of two things at once. Not working. Not working. Uh, the enlightenment era is gonna be amazing. By the way, when he's gonna get that civic, he's gonna get uh, an extra two points for each of these uh, missions. And usually the players do like to just spam it out uh, and uh, try to couple get as many bonuses as possible from the campus, from the holy sites, and. Um, explode in science uh, i do see also forex is starting to catch back up uh, in the science screen uh, he does have more culture than demento and i'm pretty sure his production is going to be uh, much higher 194 versus demento's 172 we got uh, more of these libraries uh, starting to uh, appear over here in the cities of uh, rome and uh, he's getting a bit more of a commercial um, availability 68 gold per 10 versus demento 65 well, um, Aztec in the meantime just got insanely big, by the way. He is on uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cities. Uh, we do have him with uh, a lot of builders because he did get the Ancestral Hall. Got to improve uh, another one of these uh, amenities. That's uh, an olive tile. And you do see he arrived at plus 7 luxury bonus. Uh, of course, he's uh, trying to settle a few more cities over here. Improved the salt mine next to Chapultepec. And I'm curious if, oh yeah, he's going to get the honey tile as well. That's going to be another one. He got the incense. So that's a plus eight possible on him. That's going to be uh, very, very important if he starts attacking to his opponent. I would really love to see infantry, uh, but I'm not so sure uh, he's uh, going that way. He's going swearing, mercantilism. I think he's going into sterilization by the looks of it. Not really. Mm, that, that's going to make me sad, man. That's going to make me sad. He does have a lot of industrial zones going, so uh, that's still good in my book. Uh, it's, uh, 
he's going to get uh, a lot of production 263 to work and especially if you take a look over here on pound maker uh, he's uh, half the production of um, trinda we do have also Persia on 169, uh, still 100 production lower than uh, Trinda's uh, Aztec. While he did f get a standing army to defend against any kind of uh, Zulu attack, I still don't think this would have been uh, appropriate, by the way, against Zulu. Mostly because, yes, Zulu does have horses at the moment, but he could have built the crossbowman cores, and those deal so much damage against, against the pikemen. Uh, they, they do have a high chance of uh, breaching through your uh, defenses. Uh, Zulu did choose to go against uh, Kree and force him to um, get a lot of units to defend all of his front line. Man, this is just lotaro effect did, did you guys i guess you guys know about lotaro effect this is lotaro effect hey, whenever you're gonna see those nasty malo raiders come against you you're just gonna be incentivized to build a wall of defense uh, against your opponent of units built out of units and that's just you know this is what's happening alex is forced to put a pikeman on each tile of his uh, empire when I see the AI with uh, 200 science, uh, 2 mines, uh, 63 I restart, too bad it's a multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, sometimes it snowballs so fast. What is... Oh. Okay, we do have um, more more of these uh, theater square finishing up uh, from uh, Maori. Of course, he's only on 123 culture. I would have expected a bit more here, but with his uh, 361 production, now building up his uh, shipyards, he's going to get a lot more. Uh, getting uh, Colossus also coming up in two turns from Tehonianga Nuya Kupe is going to give him an extra trade route capacity. And uh, I do see him finally putting down those in cameras. This means uh, it, it is gonna, he is going to follow up uh, an attack, or he is going to put up an attack against Kree. It's just a matter of time until he's going to get more of these. Probably waiting for the next population level to put all of them. Uh, Opandro is also going to get to the seventh pop. I do believe he's going to need to put down um, a Mare in that city center, not an encampment. And I guess uh, Wakera Warewa uh, would need to put down the encampment. I'm actually curious. One, two, three. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. He does. It's two, four. Yeah, he does. Oh, he went industrial zone. <laughs> Plus one industrial zone, like are you for real, bro? Theater square and plus one industrial zone. Come on, man. Like, I, I guess he doesn't care because he's gonna get to tanks anyway before his opponent has like something like what piking shot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait, Alex. No, no. Get back, bro. No, it's a trap. No go, but oh my god, he's going buttress. Okay, I, I gotta ask, why do you think he's going buttress, guys? Uh, is he actually trying to get industrialization with uh, 60 science? For the laws, well, I, I guess, yeah, I, that could be something. You might as well try, right? You might as well try. Uh, Kava is almost doubling every stat. Yeah. Uh, Steel is well on the tree. Bottom tree. It's uh, mid bottom tree, actually, looking at the three size screen. So, this is buttress. This is cartography. And this is uh, ballistics. This is steel. The, the two ones don't interact that much, by the way. The two, the two trees don't interact that much top and bottom uh, doesn't he need batteries for uh, shipyards uh, well is he gonna build shipyards he doesn't have a single harbor I'm, I'm talking about key by the way I'm not I'm talking about Kree. Uh, Tiresian, good evening, sir. Hello there. Do the teams play with standard tech trees? Yes. Yes, it's just the same tech tree. It's just a little bit changed by BBG uh, here and there. Like uh, some units are uh, uh, switched from one side to the other. Oh. Uh, maybe call for factories? Uh, sure. Oh my god. One second. Uh, 
this my mouth uh, give me a second my, my dad He didn't know I was uh, streaming. I thought it's uh, it was something urgent, but it looks like it wasn't. Anyway, uh, coming back on this, uh, I'm actually quite curious what uh, Alex is uh, gonna wanna do with. Um, oh wait, wait, I'm talking about. Oh, okay, never mind. Alex is going military science. I I thought uh, I think I actually uh, mistook uh, Demento. Uh, Demento is going for buttress, and I guess he does. Um, wait, he doesn't have uh, harbors anyway. He went for commercial. So, so again, top three is kind of useless here. Party, yeah, yeah. The, he's trying to get a party going. That's what's happening. Uh, we do have uh, Jerusalem coming up with uh, Industrial Zone in three turns. I do see uh, Inkemon coming up from Putoni. Um, of, uh, of course, uh, Rome is uh, getting up for uh, the later war. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to catch up in the science screen uh, relatively quickly here. He does have a lot of those um, uh, campuses going. If he's going to get all of them with the libraries and the universities, he's going to manage to catch up with uh, Spain. Especially since Spain stops settling, uh, that's going to actually give him uh, such a disadvantage in the next era. Uh, Demento does have an edge right now in the science screen, does have an edge in uh, the um, total science he acquired, but he is uh, unfortunately going to lose that edge uh, the longer the game goes on. If you don't actually manage to convert this edge into some kind of uh, advantage against your opponent, it's uh, going to be quite bad uh, in the later stages of the game. We do have um, also Aztec over here, Trinda, getting uh, quite a few uh, how to say, units in his city centers. He still needs to improve the T-tile over here on the west side. Even though I kind of feel like he already has T-tile, that's why he's not uh, f um, going crazy with it. But anyway, we'll see. He's uh, also improving the um, honey tile and looking at the damage points. He already has a plus 7 luxury attack bonus. He should be on plus 8 quite quickly. Maybe a possible plus 9. Uh, we do need to see if he's going to put down in camels, if uh, he's going to think of uh, any kind of later war, even though honestly, Looking at his um, uh, development here, he's probably going to want to go for tanks anyway. Uh, he did go top 3 for industrialization, civil engineering in one. He, he did build uh, quite a few of those uh, industrial zones, and uh, he's probably waiting for the next uh, population level to put the uh, encampments anyway. Uh, quite surprising, his uh, government plaza didn't actually get to um, uh, help out any one of his districts, and we do need to see what he's going to use it uh, next. Uh, we do have on the east side, of course, uh, Maori Kabachok with uh, <laughs> industrial zones coming out of his cities. Isaac, he did manage to get Isaac Newton. Uh, he's going to get a free library and a free university in one of his uh, campuses, while he is going to manage to get um, uh, extra two bonus... Uh, science points on each of his uh, universities very very important we do have him uh, selling a few more cities on the east side needs to be careful here uh oh wait the mento and both want to settle here like you gotta be careful bro you gotta be careful Ko Kahuya, Kahuya uh, did manage to get to one of those um, uh, sh uh, holy sites, a plus four holy site with a shrine and a temple in it. Uh, but I do want to point out, of course, um, uh, there is a pl possible plus five that Spain can uh, use to attack into Maori after he uh, Maori gets uh, religion. That is a problem, and. Uh, most of the players uh, do want to stay away from it, but at the same time, I think Kabachok also wants the era score from uh, each of these bonuses, the um, splendid bonus from the holy site, the fact that he's going to get the religion, and uh, it does, uh, of course, uh, put him much closer to his uh, golden age. Uh, we do st uh, start to see um, Japan starting to acquire those... Um, tourism points we do have uh, michael on two out of 52 uh, getting closer to um, uh, that uh, religious uh, win, uh, to that uh, culture win uh, he did uh, start to acquire a decent amount of points uh, from the beginning of the game with 15 great writer points at 10 we do have also japan on nine great artists and five great musicians i am really curious why he's not uh, doing actually those projects uh, he would benefit so much from an early um, uh, from an early um, 
uh, music, musician. Uh, we do have Lahore, Lahore also taking out with the uh, Samurais and the Catapults. I do see the Catapults are slowly taking down the city's defenses. And of course, uh, we do see those uh, Samurais are just waiting for the damage to go down low enough so they can enter the city. We do have Japan on 95 cents and 172 culture. He's uh, going to get defended by Trindas, 179 uh, culture per turn. Of course, uh, you do see at the moment uh, uh, Kabachok is the one with uh, the most uh, domestics with 51, pushing that uh, win to 52 necessary domestics. Uh, Tyrisian, I have no clue what is going on in those competitive matches, but it is amazing how fast these uh, uh, dudes progress. Yeah, they, they're just... Man, these guys have found out the nicks, the cooks, uh, how to say, um, how to say, um, the little bonuses that you can use to your advantage. Every little bit of detail counts. Like, they're unbelievable, by the way. They're unbelievable. It's such a pleasure to watch them all of the time. We do have um, more of these theater squares coming out from uh, Forex. Uh, we got universities uh, in the other cities. Uh, he is uh, starting to get uh, 109 science and 101 culture. Still not up there with the uh, Dementos, 158. Needs a lot more, but he does have uh, the production to build it. All these greedy players don't post guides on Reddit. Oh man, you, you don't know how many times I tried to make them make guides. Any kind of guides, it was... Imp it is very 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 important one of the th uh, reasons i also uh, do enjoy streaming is uh, i do want to get the information out there uh, but sometimes i just get, get carried away by talking about the uh, overall strategy instead of uh, going into the tactics that they're using he done hello there oh my god already calling out oh, man whenever he done is coming into the chat he's saying gg it's gg <laughs> you know he got it like there's not, like no no not even a question in he done's mind who's gonna win <laughs> big brain bro big brain uh game is over maori 320 science yeah we got pepper man butler in the house hello there everybody we got quite a few viewers rating us hello hello and welcome I do have uh, to point out uh, we're watching one of the qualifying games for uh, the CWC, the Civilization World Cup Season 7. On one side, we got uh, THT. On the other side, Nar Haina. We got uh, quite a few um, uh, things happening on the map. Woo! Clap indeed! Hello there, sir. Oh my god, 26 months. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I hope uh, you had a nice stream. And if you guys uh, don't know about uh, Pepperwind Butler, you should know about him. I do try to host him as uh, much as I can. And of course, he is uh, doing quite a few amazing games over there in the single player arena. And we have uh, been uh, colleagues in the Civ Give as well, uh, getting as much uh, as possible that uh, charitable event for the kids, for the sick kids. Mr. Seb, hello there, sir. 330 science. Yes, we do have Kabachok here with uh, 327 science, 151 culture, 362 gold a turn. Uh, as you can see from the beginning of the game, Kabachok was uh, settling as many cities as he possibly can get. And he did arrive at 10 cities right now with 93 population. He's getting his uh, Maris from each of his cities. He did uh, get that extra um, uh, culture and extra faith. Uh, while he did have an opponent to the north, uh, his uh, science count was just way too big for Alex to um, catch up anytime soon uh, he did get the Manaki from the capital city now he's building up his shipyards and you do see his uh, production is exploding 483 production 308 food it's very 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 important here uh, Kabachok is also not uh, the moment uh, giving us a readout of what he's gonna play in the next stages we're still thinking tanks maybe some helicopters maybe some bo bobby bombs but we do need to see what he's gonna choose as a technology to attack his opponent. Now he got into standardization. He's going back on the bottom tree for machinery, natural history in the science in the civic tree, and uh, we do notice uh, he's uh, boosting his uh, allies quite nicely. Was uh, Maori left open on Highlands? Yes, CC Pyro, bonjour. Yes, that is correct, sir. We did have uh, Maori actually um, left open on Highlands. I don't know how, but they banned both of the Tundra sieves. They they banned they banned uh, Russia and uh, Canada, and they left Maori left uh, right for the picking. I immediately, he got picked. Right, it, it was the first pick of the game.
Ooh, Flood flood coming up in Tohien and Ganoia Cooper, but anyway, that's not even gonna phase him. Those times are still amazing to work. Uh, how Kabachok is uh, having this production, almost 10 production per 10. Well, first of all, Maori it does get that extra production from all of his styles, doesn't need to uh, spend uh, uh, builder charges to improve them. At the same time, he got his. Um, um, uh, harbors up with a decent amount of adjacency and he is uh, using shipyards in them uh, not to mention even with that he got uh, quite a few of these uh, industrial zones built and the industrial zones uh, do have factories in them uh, not only giving the bonuses to that uh, particular city but also giving uh, the um, uh, factory bonus to all of the other cities in the six tiles around them yeah, in, in on highlands Maori is just as Ethiopia I think it's extremely strong Oh, Zoo coming out from Kapiti's um, entertainment complex. He's going to get the science alongside um, uh, that culture and faith on those uh, rainforest tiles. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, CC Pyro. Can you imagine what's going to happen here? Can you imagine? Let me actually uh, start up. The <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Start up the lights. Uh, Cooper never built his UU. No, he did not. Can you check his production before and after? I guess so. I mean, at the moment we do have him on 474. I would say it's safe to say he's gonna arrive at 500, but I guess so. We're gonna need to check in uh, six times. Uh, Canon Meat asking where Chicken Itza? That's a good question. And we do have forest everywhere. Yes, Highlands, man. Highlands, it is what it is. Uh, we do also need to see what Aztec is going to want to do here. He did uh, get that uh, nice and juicy extra bonus from his uh, amenities. Now he's going for Mausoleum at, uh, wait, Valuable Target City? Okay. Uh, we do have um, a campus coming up in four. I do see uh, he's building up his factory account. He did manage to get a few more engineers and he's still ignoring any kind of attack on Persia. Honestly, they are basically out their opponents anyway at this point in the game. So it doesn't look like uh, they, ne they need to be worried uh, now for those uh, wars. So we'll see in the next turns. Of course, uh, Zulu getting uh, quite big over here. I'm pretty sure we're going to see him also try to get to artilleries as fast as possible, get to uh, tanks as well, uh, to um, uh, put uh, an advantage against his opponents. Uh, Bezdomi is 121 science, 131 culture. It's quite far away from getting um, those uh, technologies I was talking about, but he is uh, on his way. We do have uh, Alex, for example, just barely on machinery, while uh, Bogini is already on metal casting. That's a big discrepancy there. Uh, we do need to see also on um, uh, the west side, on uh, Persia, if uh, he's going to manage to get more stats up. I do notice uh, Persia did get to 121 science and 80 culture. Definitely a much better result with 169 production as well. But looking at the production screen, the lowest production on THD is bigger than the highest production of Nat Haina. Guys. Guys, this is not fair. No, no, really not. Can, can we get them some more production, please? The gods of civilization needs to show up right now. Turn on the forest fires, release the hurricanes, get Habub working, you know, like, where is Habub when you need him? Hammer is, is everything in save? Yeah, I know, right? I know. Weird teammates. <laughs> what do you think he is thinking about now? I know, I just just do a meteor shower. And with the meteor shower, turn on some fires because of the meteor shower and give them, you know? Anything, anything. 
Anyway, uh, we do need to see when the, this era is going to finish and what uh, are they going to have as bonuses. We do have a few of them trying to get the Golden Ages. Of course, uh, you do see Japan trying to get that um, Golden Age with 100 and 103. I do see Kabachokon uh, 101, 105. Uh, Trinda is not far away from getting one. And nor is uh, Alex um, that far away, but he was in a normal age, so I guess uh, he does have an excuse there. We do have uh, universities coming up from uh, Alex's series. He did manage to get uh, that one general didn't manage to acquire any other in the meantime and uh, even though he could have actually pushed against Maori and I, I do believe uh, that would have been a great uh, that would have been a great opportunity for him to slow down Maori he didn't and I gotta say oh my god oh my god Maori got Auckland guys do, do you see what what did he buy? This one? This one? Yes, he, he got Auckland. He just exploded to 530 production. He has two, three, one tiles everywhere. Oh my god, look at this crap tile of 445. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, what is this? What is. Yeah, Kabachok, Auckland. Who did have Demento had Auckland? Well, he just lost it. And Demento over here really needs to either kill it or take it back. Because if he doesn't, I don't even want to imagine what Maori will do next part, the next part of the game. Like he's four times away from conservation already on 530 uh, production. He's probably gonna go up to like 700 when he's gonna hit uh, conservation. Oh my God. Uh, and Sasu, uh, crap tile, inadequate. Wait, wait, which one? Which one? I mean, it's not the industrial zone uh, yet. No, it's not Mauritas. I know, right? It's crazy. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Maori plus Oakland equals Pog indeed. Well, we do have um, Bezdomi over here needing to figure out what, where he wants to go at. He can't keep on building armies on the west and the east without a plan here. Uh, this definitely needs uh, a lot more uh, science, definitely needs a lot more of these arrangements to work with him. Uh, I I'm, I'm was quite sad actually to see that he didn't get uh, some uh, arrangements to attack into those Pygwen. I'm pretty sure he would have uh, dealt uh, significant damage uh, attacking into Persia's units. The same can be said about uh, Kree on the east side. Those crossbow on cores are extremely strong especially if they do manage to get a general for them uh, we do see uh, water parts coming up from Tatarapa. Uh, Kabachok's uh, extra population does give him a few challenges when it comes to his amenities. And of course, we do need to see what he's uh, going to do with them. Uh, I do see also Zoo coming up from Kapiti. Uh, soon he's going to have more science there. And uh, on the east side, looks like Kree is already running away. He's like, boys, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Where is Auckland? Yes, it's very close to Spain. Actually, it's touching borders with Spain. It's over here. Is this reform already? 600 GPT on uh, Aztec is uh, quite impressive at this uh, point. Uh, he's on... Uh, no, it's not reform. He's 600 gold per ton base. <laughs> I mean, he's training coastally with Maori, you know, and Maori has all of the things built on him. Oh. But yeah, it's not like Spain will be able to hold against Maori. Yeah, well, both sides will probably die quite fast. But uh, this is getting out of there, you know. It's like Alex you know, is waving. Bye. Hello. Hello, good land. Bye. Bad cities. Bye bye. Oh, Frigate Armada being upgraded by uh, Kambachok. He might actually just go and take the cities. <laughs> we, we do need to see also what's uh, going to happen here when he's going to hit that uh, conservation in three turns. Uh, Kambachok is uh, now going on the middle tree on uh, gunpowder. And I am actually quite curious what is he going to do with it. Uh, we do have uh, Kree also going a little... Oh, he... Man, he finally got enough courage to try to take a look at the Maori cities, you know, just go inside of the city, see what happens, you know, yeah, if, I mean, he did have Santa Cruz, so did, he did upgrade it, 
I see he's gonna get the Hanuda Navigator for um, an extra promotion there. And I do see Gaius Dulius, I see Artemisia, he's moving all of them uh, in Moto Pohue. Moto Pohue. I'm uh, quite curious that he only has a knight here, but that's gonna be enough to take out uh, one of the cities, Murcia, while uh, Akta Kakup is uh, also gonna be right for the taking. I would actually uh, ask them, like, don't you wanna buy him a caravel at this point? Because what, the caravel is what, 540 or something? Or 480? It's 480 gold. Like, Trinda makes that in less than a turn. Like, let, let's be real on this, right? You, you just get one of those and get a core and that's it. Aztec riding a bus to state uh, Stadland, yeah, indeed, 488, pro wait, he just dropped to, let's provide, okay, never mind, and there we go, one musketman upgraded, easy peasy, and we got uh, knights coming out from Motatarapa, and still has uh, have uh, a lot of uh, in camels to work with, uh, he's probably gonna need to get a lot more, uh, I, I, this might actually come back to haunt him if he doesn't manage to get a lot of uh, in camels out, and uh, he needs to get a lot of tanks, and he doesn't have oil, that's gonna be a big problem in the later stage of the game, but still his uh, the science is uh, gonna be overwhelming anyway, doesn't have oil in the south either, uh, oh my god, there's no oil. It's darkness, but no oil. It is what it is. Uh, Maori lost Auckland. Yeah. It did no more extra production. Let's see what happened here on Auckland. Uh, we do have Auckland uh, sued by Demento. Now he's plugging in um, Amani another time. Kabachok is just one uh, uh, envoy away. And we might see him uh, get him get it back. He does have 176 culture, so he should have a lot more envoys than his uh, counterpart here, Demento. I do have to see what uh, this is going to go for. Of course, uh, taking a look at, uh, at uh, Zulu, he's also going to get uh, quite a few crossbowmen armies out of his cities, which uh, will probably turn into field cannon armies. That's going to be more than strong enough uh, to take out uh, the Persian uh, defenses. Uh, while Kabachok is uh, getting that uh, frigate, he finally just got a caravel out of uh, Motupohue, and we do see hit uh, caravel fleet up uh, with do also need to see if uh, he's gonna get these series yeah he's gonna get these series really quickly the frigate armada is gonna deal more than uh, enough damage against the series uh, strength and of course we do need to see uh, what he's gonna go over there go for it over there hello professionals only hello there son anyone lost any cities uh, we did have a city uh, killed by jerusalem at the beginning of the game kume uh, on um, rome unfortunately well it did happen and um, now rome after that uh, he did manage to put another one here on putoli and then uh, took over the city state of jerusalem uh, other than that, I, we didn't actually see uh, cities uh, taken over, but we you got just in time, though. We do have a Kabachok um, uh, with a Frigate Armada and a, uh, one of these uh, caravel fleets uh, starting to go against his opponents here, uh, bo both on Spain on, uh, and on Cree. Uh, we do have him with uh, a lot more a lot more, uh, like insane more uh, science than his uh, opponents. He has a 341 uh, and 176 uh, culture a turn with 320 gold, 514 production. That's pre conservation um, production. Yeah, free cities. I think he's just going to take them down. I don't think he's going to keep them. I think he's just going to raise them and that's it. You know, be gone, be done with it. Oh, we got a GG. Michael calls out the GG, and it is what it is. We got a THD winning the game against Nad Haina. Managing to get uh, all of those uh, good bonuses on them. Kabachok was way too big to handle. They let in Maori and found out why Maori needs to be banned on this map. Of course, uh, they did take out Ethiopia, they did take out Russia, Canada. 
in quite a few other civilizations. Uh, it looks like uh, Maori was a bit um, well too strong, but so was Aztec. We did have uh, Trinda going for that triple discount, um, uh, di uh, triple district discount at the beginning of the game, and managed to get uh, plus eight um, damage on his um, opponents because of that those extra amenity points uh, we also did have uh, japan do his best to get a lot of stats up he did quite well 150 science 225 uh, culture uh, couldn't quite get the tourism up early because that's how it is and uh, his allies Cree and Persia, unfortunately was um couldn't keep up with uh, the neighbor science and the culture uh, it would have been a totally different game if they could but it looks like he didn't even get to um, uh, go for an attack phase here they realized the tanks the um, oh, airplanes would have come out from their opponent's lands they would have uh, wiped clean off the map that uh, entire empires there we can go for a debrief over here and uh, we will probably hear a lot of uh, Russian but I guess we do have quite a few Russian speaking uh, viewers uh, in the chat I do believe uh, it is important for them to hear a little bit of the debrief if they do allow us to ask a few questions over there it's still going to be uh, very very nice and appreciated let's go in boys Man, where is Kaba? Oh hello, where is the big Kabachok? What, what happened there? I also said the big Kabachok. He's flexing on us. He's flexing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can't imagine why. The situation was the best way to get to the possible exit on CVC without playoffs. Why is it possible? There's still one game, like... Well, yeah. В принципе, еще одну игру выигр... выигрываете и выходите без плей-оффа. На CBC? Да, да, без поражений. So how did uh, Cooper get in the game? That's what I want to know. Isn't this an auto ban for you? Like he's in like on Highlands, don't you like ban it straight up? Кстати, было ощущение еще, что вы пытались своими банами в начале игры справаться этап того же Лаутара и что команда в принципе соперника не банила такие нации типа Маори. О, Тринда, hello there, sir. Hello, hello. Тринда, hello. So, how did you lose Colosseum? I didn't build it. I just uh, replaced it. I, 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 I saw that, but how? Why did you? Just replace it. If you ever, I wanted to do it with engineer. Like I saw industries on engineer for wonders. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to project, but I saw Japan as uh, entertainment complex. So. Yeah, go on, uh, pause and pause it. It's not that important for me. I have anyways plus five in my Yeah. No, oh, so Kabachok the flexer is here. Kabachok, how are you doing? Yeah, sir? hello. Okay. <laughs> not, not bad. Go, go and pause it, go and pause it. I wanna check uh, production after cancellation in the term. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. It's probably gonna be like, what, 700 with Auckland or so. <laughs> I lose Auckland, yeah, but... But I don't need Auckland, I anyway work on jungle and wood styles. True. Yeah, true. And by the way, what happened to Kree? It was like four early cities. <laughs> Double campus, I guess, in the encampment instead of commercials or uh, ships down. No, he, he went commercials into campuses and kind of stopped. No pastures in capital, I think. All, yeah, only. He had uh, four. I mean, some. No, some he had four. Yeah. He has some two and two. In capital. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's good bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the uh, Aztec was too fast on uh, doing the projects there. I don't know. Project, got project it. yeah. It's such a great spawn for, for me, for Aztec. Campus adjacency. This con commercial just got spawned. Uh, really? No fresh water yeah, in the southwest, though. Like in the yeah, south. Yeah, but they have, I have camp plus three campus in all of my cities, and uh, so good. Really yeah. like the spawn. The triple discount there, very nice. Yeah, and fertility rights, like very like last time I played at Second Islands, it was such a bad spawn. No luxuries, but this time continent split. Uh, campuses everywhere, so good. Kaba, I gotta say, man, chat is saying that Trinda is bigger than you. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, God, How much this. production is it? Uh, we can't see. Wait, I, let me open here. Oh, uh, 596 yeah, on you and 514 mm -hmm. on Kaba. Ah. So yeah, you are a, you are a big bigger, a bit bigger, but that's pre conservation. So yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Actually, let me see. I should be able to unpause and uh, let uh, Kabachok do his runs here. Uh, did you consider an attack earlier with uh, Zulu going against uh, your opponent there? Maybe crossbows, maybe uh, catapults? Or uh, you just didn't want to spend the uh, effort? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Right, what, yeah. what stopped you? Nothing, bro, nothing. Nothing gonna stop the big field cannons in army Zulu attacking Kree. Ah, like okay, okay. 70 50 starts, starts, yeah. Oh, okay, so you wanted to wait for field cannons, yeah. That, that yeah, sense. of course. Yeah. Like, just fast killing Cream with shit stats, because he's the weakest on uh, the map. And then yeah. we're gonna bop Persia together with Trindus. I believe uh, Aztec uh, biplanes, our jet fighters, is so good Bi against them. <laughs> By oh. playing push, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus nine jet fighters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bopping the chokes, bro. And then uh, the big Zulu armies comes in and uh, destroy all the things. So good. Yeah. And we gotta ask about Kume. Polar X is muted. Polar X muted. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about it, I guess. Wait, he lost the city, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah against city state. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see it, wow. Yeah, That's three warriors okay. too strong, man. You... Wow. Well, at least he, he did kill it afterwards, but still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then every district on uh, Folrex territory was pillaged. It was like... Pillaged commercial hub, pillaged golf plaza with building because of scouts. And then Folrex uh, about uh, no buying units for him. Like he had no units and shit. Yeah. The poor Folrex. Well, to be fair, neither did the Aztec. He, but he didn't get pillaged. So. You, uh, I had the yeah, problem there were no units, yeah. to see your amenities. Oh, where did you have the first, uh, the fourth? of manatee by the way you had at some point four amenities but you only improved three of them on your continent did you settle uh, on one which one was the fourth one i took gypsum yeah. dice yeah pearls pearls uh, wait where did you have pearls first. no no first first ah, first first okay yeah but what was the next one i don't remember i think it was only three no oh, yeah. you, you clearly had plus four amenities but that's the problem we, we couldn't find out what's the fourth one you mean in my cities plus four? No, no, on your units you had plus Improved. four. Improved. Yeah, that's so weird. Because uh, you didn't settle on any. You you settled coastally, that's... Uh, what was it? Wheat tiles, and then rice tiles, and uh, an iron tile. Yeah, I don't two know. Two, and I don't know. Yeah, so weird. It was pretty late, I got the fourth one, actually. Yeah, I don't know what to... Yeah. Where it was. Maybe to switch it back in spectator motors, uh, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe. Oh, Kabachok, uh, 629 production. Now he's bigger than your Trinda. Uh, you're on uh, 590. But I have more, <laughs> but I have more science than him. Yeah. 418 science, 154 culture. That's okay. Okay, guys, yeah. GG, thank you for the game. GG, well played. GG, GG. Well, uh, we did see a TH3 go against uh, Narhaina. You just saw a THD get a win over here on their belt, and uh, they do manage to get to a 6 and 1, 6 wins and 1 loss. Uh, and we do need to see in the upcoming weeks uh, how this is going to change. Uh, and of course, I'm going to keep on trying to uh, keep an eye on the tournament. Maybe we're going to get some more uh, games over here. Uh, I do want to thank uh, very much for uh, all of the support, for the follows, for the subs, for. Um, yeah, the questions in the chat uh, also uh, i do want to point out if you're coming up from youtube i do hope you enjoy the um, uh, entertainment value over here we got some uh, games going i do hope you're gonna throw this video a thumbs up and we're gonna see each other on uh, discord or on the live stream twitch.tv slash on spot tv thank you so much for uh, joining us and uh, let's see each other tomorrow at 1830 gmt we're gonna have a game uh, coming up from um, 
the CPL qualifiers. I believe it's uh, Halino Highlands going against somebody else. Let me actually take a look really quickly over here. What's uh, going on? Uh, we do have Gold by Library going against um, Holidon Highlands on Sunday, 1800 GMT. See you guys tomorrow, and um, I do hope you're going to have an awesome Saturday. Have some fun with some Civilization 6 gaming, and of course, uh, take care. Bye, bye, bye. Ah, des coups de poing en pixels quoi. Ah, le Zeraflop.